today we are receiving Dan from Surface Reality News. Uh, Dan, Hello. can you please tell us a little about yourself, whatever you deem relevant? Uh, my name's Dan. I'm 22. I've been running uh, SRM for about almost five years now. Um, yeah. Probably almost as long as uh, your page. Uh, my page has only been up for uh, four years and a half, so if it's uh, five years, you're uh, a little ahead. But yeah, basically, I started in May 2015. So you... Uh, yeah. uh, we started in uh, June, so basically right after you. Oh, interesting. Mm. Yeah, this was this big... Um, the, the, there was this big uh, boom of Facebook funny pages right in the middle of 2015. There was uh, a, f a few precursors, especially Krim de la Meme and uh, Orange, Orange Memes. memes. Oh, exactly. Man. The, two, yeah. the two big ones are or, or, or Feathers and or, uh, or Founding Fathers. They're Dad, Krim, uh, <laughs> and uh, Orange Mother. Mama whatever. Orange. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, and then. Daddy Krim. I mean, I, oh, they're I, all I, gone now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Th there were a few even older ones. Uh, that had some kind of really underground recognition. I'm thinking especially of asbestos removal memes, which is the page that made me want to have a page on my own, of my own. Uh, and also uh, there was a, a bunch of pages like uh, the same picture of Nicolas Cage every day. I remember yeah. that one. Yeah, I think it's still up. Is it? uh, yeah, did they have the same picture or did they change it? No, no, it's the same picture. Really? Um, wow. Pr yeah, I'm mm. pretty sure, by the way, that asbestos removal meme is also still up, although they post Ooh. really not often. That tends so, to happen. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, basically, we have some kind of a tradition here. The first question we always ask our guests is, what is your favorite meme of the moment? Of the moment? Or of 2019, if you will. 2019? Or uh, recent, something recent. Something uh, not really recent. I mean, it's somehow still alive, but uh, uh, Dog, I mean, the oh, classic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, I remember when it started in 2013, it was like a, such an explosion. Uh, rarely I've seen a meme become so big, so fast, and so long uh, i remember my girlfriend at the time really hated it so it was really fun i was uh, bringing it up all the time to uh, make her cringe and it was uh, <laughs> very amusing and then uh it kind of disappeared but really slowly you know that there's a, a lot of memes that come uh, that go as 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 far as fast as they've come uh but doge um yeah it um uh, it started a little slowly, and also it was a combination of several memes. Uh, one that was from Tumblr, uh, the, and uh, one the of the Wow, very such all that. Yeah, that, that was that. That was the the Reddit spin on it, and uh, it it, uh, it started not so fast, and uh, it took a while to catch, and then it was really big for a really long time, and then it faded away it didn't really like died it faded slowly and then it came back really strong uh recently with all these weird incel far right memes uh, i remember like even before the uh far right incel offensive whatever there was like people messing around in photoshop with like late dragon has arrived and they're, oh like, yeah i love yeah. this so much they were oh, like yeah. <laughs> like 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 crab and uh they're yes. just you know liquid editing all these dog pictures and it's just oh, I yeah I, I, i'm I just think, like yeah 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 i'm like is that dog like what yeah. <laughs> i'm like i thought this meme died years ago and it's just back in full force i'm i'm glad it's back i like the new version of it then um what was it it used to just say like wow and mm -hmm. um and yeah. much much something um, but now it's just like it can be anything like the, the meta narrative gets really extreme sometimes I see a lot of <laughs> like, I, I call them doge 
And I see yeah, a lot same, of yeah. I see a lot There's of two of, kinds of people. <laughs> I see a lot of Doge's <laughs> now where he's very emotional. He's like he yeah, like really yeah. he's like, bro, are you just tired of me, bro? Like <laughs> you can tell me the truth. Like yeah, just let yeah, me know how you feel, uh, bro. <laughs> but it's uh, the, uh, a lot of Doge uh, memes that we see today are uh, kind of part of the what's called the Fash Wave movement. Uh, and hmm. uh, oh, you yeah, know, yeah, 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 you know, fashion wave that they have a lot of oh, stuff yeah. that they're kind of obsessed about, like food fetish and Blade Runner and all that. <laughs> Ryan Gosling, he's just yeah. like me, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, all that. So, uh, it, it's uh, it's weird, but I, I, I really like it. But oh god, the le whatever has arrived was so good. Um, I have probably more than a hundred saved, like, I remember, uh. Towards the end, it, it, it there was a, a some it it um it became kind of sciency more and more. I remember uh, uh, the metamorphic rock has arrived because uh, <laughs> lava yeah. has cooled down really fast. <laughs> it was so good. Yeah, I mean I haven't really seen much of those around lately, but now no. yeah, it's foot yeah. fetish and all that. <laughs> but yeah, it uh it went quite fast because I remember those uh. We are, uh, the dragon has arrived and whatever. It was like one year ago. It was not so long ago. And uh, the the fast wave doge was like right after. There was no, no, uh, no time without doge basically. I don't uh, even really know where it originated from. I want to say it's a Facebook thing, but I I don't really go on Reddit, so it might have been there too. Which one? The um, the I don't original? know the feet. No, not the original, like the oh. foot fetish and like, yeah, that one. The Probably rebirth of Doge. Chan. Probably yeah. for chan maybe, maybe Paul on 4chan. Or yeah, there are some subreddits that are very, very fast wave, especially the million dollar extreme subreddit that is like 110% of that. So maybe it, it came from that, I don't know. But uh, it's... Uh... Oh, Twitter. There's a lot of stuff like that on Twitter. Twitter is like... Uh, there's uh it's uh the the best possible place for uh extremists who have extreme opinions whether they're whether they're like uh hyper commies or uh kind of mm. like oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh yeah twitter is made for these people I literally learned what fash wave is just now by googling it I wasn't aware that that's <laughs> that that's a thing yeah, it has been a big thing for a few years now. Wow. And, uh, the... Actually, I, um, what? Sorry. No, no. Oh. Go ahead. Um, I, I partly lied. Um, my favorite meme right now, it's kind of like an offshoot of Doge, but, uh, you see the funny looking dog with the little Mickey Mouse ears, like Cheems Burger. Yeah, yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Holy shit, I have not seen this one. Cheems yeah. Burger? I feel so out of the loop. The, oh, yeah. um, the... The, the, they're all laughing at the way that oh. this dog pronounces Cheem's burger. Yeah. He's, li he's, I mean, like he's, a, a, he's like a Down Syndrome looking doge. <laughs> I mean, like, it's the same okay. same uh, breed. It's a Shiba Inu, yeah, but it's like... Yeah, but this like, one's kind of squashed it's... and... Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. He's a, he's a homie with an extra chromie. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, a chromie. Nothing, I'm not nothing wrong with that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not an ableist. <laughs> I'm not an ableist. Not, don't ever. Like don't ever fucking call me an ableist because I'm not. <laughs> no, nothing wrong yeah. with this dog. He just he's putting off a funny face and I don't know. He's, like, he's just smiling and saying cheeseburger. It's great. It's wonderful. I Diversity never, is our strength. <laughs> Uh, is this kind of like the Armageddon uh, meme of a few <laughs> years ago? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of like new. Like now, people are like writing like words and you know like messing up what he's saying like with his Cheemsburger accent. Like, yeah, yeah, okay. That was really that was really really big on Reddit around 2014. Uh, that that was like a, a huge thing, and then it uh, it kind of died, and it be became alive again on Facebook, especially, uh, but also on uh, there was this uh, this Twitter thing of of a cat. 
uh, that's uh, that doesn't spell really good. And uh, it's just a, I am a cat. Okay, so I'm I'm seeing this right now at an island. I hadn't seen this, but I've been lately. I've been really sick and really busy, so I haven't I haven't had time to catch up on memes since like October. What do you What do you guys think of this one? They call they're calling Lil Bro Doge. The one with the um the little kid the hat, hat, the propeller I hat. I love it. Oh, I uh, love it so much. It's great. I think they call him DJ, which is Doug Junior. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know. He's he's always the, his eyes are so big, and he's like he's wondering what the fuck's going on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's just a kid, you know. He's just a kid. <laughs> And uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's so weird because it started. I remember it started on Tumblr. Uh, there was this uh, this text post. There was uh, this huge wave of shit posty text posts on Tumblr around 2012, and there was this uh, kind of like uh, choose your own adventure or whatever it's called. You know, uh, like uh, what uh, brother Bernathy is doing. Um, like uh, you uh, and the the post was like um, you have encountered a doge. What do you want to do? Like number one, uh, I, I think like number one is like uh, uh, run. Number two, attack, and number three, pet doge. And uh, then this was like you have chosen pet doge. The doge is pleased. <laughs> and uh, and I, then. Yeah. And then I've, that 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 was like huge on Tumblr for like uh, an inordinate amount of time, yeah. uh, especially especially because on Tumblr things uh, live and die really really fast compared to other platforms. So uh, a meme that stays there for a week is pretty good, and the Doge thing stayed there for more than a month. And then someone slapped a picture on it. Says, oh, found I found the Doge. I found its, its face, and then that that became really big. Uh, on Reddit for some reason, where they added the wow and whatever uh, uh, with the, the comic sense and uh, neon flashy vivid colors um, text uh, was also take, also really big on Tumblr around 2012 and uh, yeah, I read it. So these two things they combined it and they made this uh, Doge meme that became huge pretty much everywhere for. Uh, mm. Pretty much the whole 2013 year was really, really big. I remember it vividly, yeah. I remember the game 2048, like people making their own oh, custom yeah. dog versions of that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was a I good remember, game. I remember... I never beat it. I, I beat... I got, I got up to the ones where you were going, like, the double of 2048 and, like, the, the quadruple. Yeah. You, like, just keep doubling it and doubling it. I got yeah. it very high on that and that's that's uh that's why i don't play computer games anymore <laughs> <laughs> i got close but i never got that far i can i i would i would do it like right now to prove that i can and screenshot it for you but i've banned myself from it so sorry <laughs> yeah yeah i remember i beat it one time but i think it was kind of like by accident because mm. I, I wasn't i wasn't really paying attention it was just like uh you know wasting time with mobile games and uh, yeah i think maybe it was dumb luck or uh, maybe it was like some some part of my brain beyond consciousness that took over and uh, and, and yeah finished the puzzle but uh, what what was i gonna say um i was gonna talk about something else um i have shit. a no games on my phone policy i just same yeah, yeah. I, generally they're not they're not as good quality games, so if I'm gonna yeah, waste my time yeah. playing a game, I'll, I'll make it something really good. Yeah, they're really engineered to get you to just pick it up and pick it up and pick it up and pick it up and yeah, click through yeah, ads yeah. and like yeah. just mind dopamine receptors, mind yeah. numbing mm. level of attention grabbing. And but with the uh, the technique with twenty forty eight, I'll just let you know. You just pick a corner and you just go upside 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 you just like jostle the the pieces into the corner and yeah you can win by accident that way so that was like one of the very few phone games i got into um i think on my phone right now the only game i have is um 
you know, PUBG Mobile, but I haven't even updated that in right. forever. Yeah. And I just don't care <laughs> for it. Yeah, yeah. Or care to delete it. My, my, my policy is uh, not, not as restrictive as yours. It's like only one game at a time installed on my phone. It's not, it's not zero mm. yet. I, I like to play those, like to, to fall asleep. Well, I'm, I'm listening to a podcast and I'm not quite ready to sleep yet. So I pop up some Candy Crush bullshit and uh, do it mindlessly. It helps me, uh, it helps me doze off and drift away. But uh, yeah, I don't really play those during the day. Um, it's just like uh, when I'm when I'm laying in bed at night and I can't sleep. They're perfect for that. But I don't really I don't really play mobile games rest of, rest of the time. Um, Do you think that's why you're an insomniac though? Like, it's a, no. like see, it's a very bad pre sleep activity for me. Playing any I, looking at my phone at all is bad for me for sleep. I already I I already had insomnia before playing video games before i had a computer uh, it started when i was a little kid and the computers and video games and mobile did not make it worse uh, if anything it helps more than anything okay but, nice. but, but yeah but yeah i have a very very resistant insomnia you know i've tried a lot of stuff like xanax and zolpidem zopiclone and all that bullshit and it never works so um it's um yeah, but sometimes you got to have something that's compatible with laying in bed and having your brain at close to zero activity, you know. A book is too much. Um, some TV shows work pretty well for that. And um, yeah, playing games on mobile. I've, I have one at the moment that's called Two Dots. It's just perfect oh, for God. that. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. really nice. I was so addicted to Two Dots. Two Dots. So I've bad. never even heard of that one. I don't know what any of the big mobile games are right now because I just don't pay attention. Yeah, yeah. same. I, I I don't I don't know idea. But uh, yeah. two dots is insanely entertaining, in, like a terrible way for me. Uh, yeah, it's it's not really entertaining, I would say, but it's just the right amount of uh, helping you kill time and not being too too bored while still leaving your brain, you know. Um, <sighs> available like i can i can listen to a podcast and play two dots at the same time and it it doesn't detract me from uh i still you know i, I still listen to the to the show i can i can do two dots while i'm doing something else and uh that that's why i like it so much it's uh yeah it's uh you can do something with your fingers that's healthier than uh cigarettes or uh, greasy snacks and um it's not yeah yeah it's uh i don't know it's kind of like it's kind of like memes memes, um, memes is uh that's all i do before i go to bed <laughs> yeah or watch youtube really beyond those memes yeah uh, i prefer browsing memes uh, in the morning like usually it's the first thing i do after waking up i go to browse some memes for an hour and then the day starts uh, no, not so much during the the evening. Not sure why, but uh, yeah, it's um... during the evening. I'm just tired. Maybe want to play a game or something, watch a movie. But during my breaks at work, that's all I do is look at memes. <laughs> oh yeah, you work in a you work in a biology lab, right? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Nah, if I'm gonna be uh, fancy about it, I unload trucks for a multi-billion dollar American corporation. <laughs> oh. Hell yeah. I oh, cool. I, I don't know why I remember lab. That's weird. America. <laughs> In another life, I'm a biologist. Okay. <laughs> Sorry for the mix-up. Um, no, that's fine. So you unload, you unload trucks for a large company that cannot be named? Nah, not really. I mean, you can kind of guess, but I'm not going to say it. Yeah, okay. That's chill. CBT. CBT. Is Jeff Bezos going to, like, come after you <laughs> and <laughs> round you up in one of those Amazon trucks, and then you'll never be heard from again? Don't oh, yeah, say especially... the word. Don't say the A word. You said the A word. <laughs> I can say it. He didn't say it. I said he it. Hasn't I can, confirmed he, or I denied can be complete. Anything yet. 
I could be pulling companies out of my ass for all anybody knows. It's a rainforest first. But uh, yeah, it's it's one of the big ones. One of the big ones. Okay. One of the big ones. Um, <laughs> oh, we should. I want to know. Oh, did you learn which languages did you learn on Muzzy? Because I noticed oh, you have like God. a, a oh, connection man, to Muzzy. I have the That's same a, question. That is no. a story. No one ever really asked about the origin of this, but um, before oh, yeah. when we uh, my friend started the page, um, it was a we didn't really have a mascot. But if you remember, I, actually, sorry, we did have a mascot. It was a uh, kangaroo Jack. So. We were making Kangaroo Jack memes, like out of like <laughs> stupidest shit, like some nice. of the side characters and whatever. And it wasn't really a character that's close to my heart, by the way. Uh, what's his mm. name? Um, You're Australian, that's why. Yeah, An Anthony mm -hmm. Anderson, I think. There's like a right. picture of him just like screaming, and like we yeah fucked around with that a lot. <laughs> um, but it wasn't really resonating well. So like soon after, we moved on to Glenn Martin DDS. Did anyone remember that show on Nick and Knight? Never heard of Glenn Martin Never DDS. Heard of it. it was like this claymation thing, like this dentist living in um, a trailer or whatever with his family. <laughs> it's oh my God. it's just an absolute okay. meme, and I think the official Facebook page is still up, so you can like share shit from them. <laughs> I get. I guess he's technically a dentist, right? Technically, but yeah, um, but maybe it's a trailer, so it must be not really a good one. Is he a penis dentist? <laughs> the show was on like that's 10 so years obscure. ago. I don't really remember <laughs> anything about it. But, um, anyway. So moving on okay, from so, that. Uh, about like yeah. a year later, um, I don't know, I was on Mew, like the music board of 4chan, and like somebody randomly posted Muzzy and like a bunch of repressed memories came back and like... <laughs> That is going to be the new mascot for the page, and it's just stuck nice. ever since. And like in the whole week that that started, um, we were just doing a bunch of muzzy memes, and some people were getting it, some of them weren't. But if you're a kid in the early 2000s, like watching Nickelodeon, like you know who he is. Yeah, they they would really try to push those muzzy infomercials on you. It's like the Rosetta Stone, like fantasy of learning a new language, but pushed on like little kids. Uh, but did you did you actually study some languages on Muzzy? Like, I, how deep was your relationship with Muzzy? I didn't have any relationship with him. I just um, watched the commercials. Oh, the Bill Clinton defense. But um. <laughs> I wanted to get it as a kid and like learn Portuguese, but um, <laughs> Portuguese is your fantasy language as a child. Uh, I'm half Portuguese. So. Come to Brazil. Oh, cool. Like my uh, my mom's yeah. very uh, fluent in it. My dad okay. doesn't know anything in Portuguese, but um, okay. Um, I wanted to get Muzzy as a kid because like they showed off the cool plush thing that you could get with them. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah. never got it. I was disappointed. So you never studied Muzzy. I had French Muzzy. I don't know any French now, though. Oh. I, I know enough. I know enough French to order a book on <laughs> Amazon. <laughs> France. Another I, obscure I, reference. <laughs> I ordered. I ordered a book and sent sent one to Nelson um, <laughs> for for no reason. Is it was it your birthday or I don't know? No, my birthday is in a few weeks. No, it was just. Uh... I don't know. I don't remember. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, I like I, for some reason I really wanted to send send a present to Nelson, so I, I ordered a book for him on Amazon France. Mm, so yeah. yeah. Happy early birthday. Oh, thanks. Happy early birthday. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's, what? Huh? Go on. It's not too late to get Portuguese fr muzzy and study it now. I'm just saying. Sure, I could probably find it somewhere online. Yeah. <laughs> It's probably probably like right on YouTube, right for free. But anyway, yeah. The only it's... Portuguese that I know is uh, "sopa de macaco, uma delícia." <laughs> very sopa, delight. Soup, 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 soup of macaco is very delicious. Yeah, basically, it's macaco. Yeah. It's a monkey, monkey soup. Monkey, su monkey soup is very, monkey soup is very delicious. Brazilian, delicacy. whoa, yeah. <laughs> They, f for some reason, 
the Brazilians, they would put anything in soup. Like, I, I don't understand why, but soup is like so popular over there. And, uh, you know, it's uh, since I started this page, uh, distasteful kitchen sink posting buffet, uh, people send me stuff all the time and a lot of weird Brazilian food, and most of it is soups, like especially sopa de sushi, which is basically they put they threw a bunch of maki sushi in a in a big bowl and it's so weird. I don't understand their their obsession their obsession with soup, but uh, they seem to like it really quite a lot. Mm. Uh, sure. Uh, yeah, that's uh, this mascot. I never heard about this um, this mascot thing, but uh, I thought it was some kind of uh, thing in, in like it's the 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 love child of uh, Furby and Bonzi Bonzi <laughs> Buddy. I mean, it was the early two thousands. It was a crazy yeah. time. Yeah. Actually, I think it goes far beyond that. Like the commercials, the early two thousands. But I think it was like a British thing in like the eighties and nineties. I would not be surprised. It looks very British. They first created it in 1986 for the BBC, and they've been they were marketing the videotapes all through the 90s, all through my childhood, I guess, on through the 2000s. So I'm I'm like a good, gosh, t decade older than you, Dan. So uh. <laughs> yeah, that's it's gross. 1986. It's terrible. 1986. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, 1986. That's the year of uh, Chernobyl. So it's uh... nice. You know, it's, it's, a good, it's fitting. Good year, good year for ch children to learn other languages and maybe maybe start on some of this world peace shit. <laughs> I gotta get around to uh, watching that mini series because I've heard many great things about it. It's so good. I love it. I love it. It's Million really, really Dollar good. Extreme. Are we talking about <laughs> what? What? Uh, you mentioned world peace, so I, I thought you were mentioning oh. that. Never mind. No, we, World Peace, and then they started talking about the Chernobyl miniseries, which I haven't seen any oh, of it. Oh, okay, so. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. What were you, you going to say about World Peace, though? Uh, it's just a show that Million Dollar Extreme made. It's also very funny. Sam Hyde. Uh, I've yeah, seen Sam exactly Hyde, yeah. one episode of that show, and... <laughs> it's insane. Humor is pretty out there. Yeah. Oh yeah, Giles, you're the one who I uh, gifted my uh, Sam Hyde's Thanks Mean Stash page to, kind of uh, accidentally. I remember that. I'm just a, uh, I'm just a, a mo like a, an an editor, I think. Actually, yeah, there's still some other guy who owns it, <laughs> so we're both sort of locked yeah, out. Yeah, but that's a that's a fake account that I made a long time ago, and I lost the password. So basically, you're uh, you're the captain now. <laughs> So you're you Ma Mahmoud or something like that. Yeah, yeah, Mahmoud Awad, it's a reference to, uh, well, our friend Dan uh, talked about 4chan Mew, and it comes from 4chan Mew, it's from uh, 2011, if I'm not mistaken, and there was this crazy um, meme, there, there, was a lot of, there was a lot of original memes on Mew around 2011, and one of my favorite yeah, I was, was there for a while. One of my favorite was Mahmoud Awad, uh, which was like some kind of um, Arab dude who uh, lived in the future and sent his music into the past using a uh, kind of weird time machine. <laughs> and, That's uh, amazing. And basically, it was just like Arab pop music, but with a lot of weird <laughs> filters. And uh, you know what? You know what? Uh, it's not copyrighted. I, love I, it. I bet I could play some of it. So I'm just gonna go uh, ahead. Uh, this is like before I went on Mew, so I don't even know about this one. Yeah, uh, there was a few other ones that were really great, like uh, Blank Core. I don't know, ah, that was so good. Basically, there was the, this uh, green text story of a dude who went uh, to Central Park, New York, and there was this black dude who handed him a, a CD uh, and said, Oh, that's my mixtape. Please buy my mixtape. It's so good. You won't regret it. And uh, so uh, the guy uh, gave, gave him uh, like $10 and then he, he came back home and he was like, uh, okay, maybe it's actually good. I'm going to try and listen to it. And the CD was blank. 
<laughs> so, <laughs> so of course, people on me was like, "Oh my God, it's uh, oh, it's this uh, ex- extremely obscure but so good producer of uh, of blank core. Uh, you're so lucky." <laughs> You're so lucky to have met him. I'm such a fan. <laughs> and so this blank core was like a meme. Like a, it started off with John Cage's 433, and now <laughs> po- yeah. post post African blank core is a. You don't get it, man. You're not supposed to hear it. You're supposed to feel it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the emperor's new clothes of music. Exactly. <laughs> You have, to, you have to be really refined to hear anything on it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, Mahmoud Awad was um, like with with weird shit with a lot of filters. Uh, here's one. Here's one song. Oh. I dig this. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I'm dancing in my chair. Sheik to the future. Can we make this our new theme song? I guess. Can we rebrand? Because we have to change the name of the show? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's doable. It's a good chance to change your theme song, too. It's very trippy. The voice is gonna come in a few seconds, and that's the best part. I can't wait. Are we gonna do this for eight <laughs> minutes and forty-eight seconds? It reminds me of like Legend of Zelda uh, <laughs> sound <laughs> sound effects or something. The, the voice anyway. Spirit Temple. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> is that the vocals? Oh, yeah. there it is. <laughs> Uh, I'm excited for the shit. future of our music. I've listened to it a million times, but it still makes me laugh like a retard. <laughs> hey, bro, I passed the aux cord. You better not, you better not play shit. <laughs> Wait, so I was kind of zoning out during the explanation of this. Is this, is this like a joke or is this legit? This is well. That's that was yeah, the point for a point. while. Uh, nobody really knew if it was a joke or legit, and that was the whole okay. the whole meme, you know, rested on the shoulders of this ambiguity. And um, right after a while, people just assumed it was a joke. But at first, people were kind of confused, and that was the beauty of it. I love that there's myths attached. Yeah. It's not too far off from the regular Arabic music that I listen to. It sounds like oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give a reference that uh, you were, a few of you are gonna be too young to understand, but it's like when you when you left a cassette tape like in, in the sun for for, for too yeah. long, and the music became, it would come out like, sounding like this. Yeah. You, you can just say it, Nelson. I'm the only one old enough to understand. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. You're like a few of you. And you can just you can just say you can just say which one of us is ancient enough to play cassette tapes. It's cool. It's fine. I was talking to the audience, you crazy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot there's an audience here. <laughs> oh, we were just, I thought we were just hanging out. We're just four retards having a conversation. Yeah. <laughs> Listening to Mahmoud Awad. That's how I think about it. If I think about the audience, I'm gonna I'm gonna get stage fright or, uh, or, or podcast fright. <laughs> Earlobe fright. Ear fright. <laughs> Ear fright. Castophobia. Yep. I don't want that. Uh, yeah, understand. Um, I heard, maybe it's complete bullshit, but I've heard a lot of times that uh, putting spits on your uh, earlobes uh, re- was like an instant relief for a stress. Putting what on your earlobes? Uh, saliva. Saliva? It's, uh, it's a thing you have in your mouth. It's kind of like water, but spicy. <laughs> so like giving yourself a wet willy? 
saliva on your earlobes, but not inside your ear, on your no, earlobes. No, no, yeah, yeah, on the, on the lobe, you get, a, you get a dab it on the lobe. Appar okay. Apparently it was a technique used by ninjas in ancient Japan or whatever. Uh, I mean, if, if it's a troll, it's really, you know, widespread, because I've heard it on a, a, or read it on a, a lot of different places uh, a bunch of times, so, uh, yeah. Is, this what that, is that what this song makes you think about, is the feeling of saliva on your earlobes? <laughs> no, you were talking about stage fright. I, oh. <laughs> you were not even... <laughs> I, I, I like to Sorry, this sometimes, this sometimes you know, people don't listen to other people when during a conversation, but you're not even listening to yourself. <laughs> no, I'm just really disoriented by this song. Uh, it's, it's making me feel really weird. Was that yeah? Was, was that still a little while ago? <laughs> you're still yeah. you're still not drunk. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I also had some blackberries. Ooh. Yummy. That'll do it. What? Yep. Blackberries and a nap. I'll get you all crazy. Oh, interesting. And this song. <laughs> yeah, in combination. Song is, it's really something. It's, yeah. it's like a triple whammy. Yeah. But yeah, it kind of disappeared as soon uh, as it started. It, it was not alive for a really long time, this meme. Uh, it, only, only like a couple months, I think. And then, uh, you know, people make pages like on Last FM, uh, all that, but... Uh, and three albums were released, but now they're kind of hard to find, except on YouTube, because that's where it, uh, it was originally uploaded. <sighs> that was uh, such, a, such a great meme. Lots of great music memes. I yeah, I looked, I, I looked up this Mahmoud Awad guy on Spotify, and... Oh, no, uh, it's not there. It's too underground well, for Spotify. <laughs> is it? So these, so these are these are like not official albums by the actual dude. But there's no actual I don't think dude. The actual dude exists. Yeah, yeah, he's not born yet. No, the actual. It's not born Mem yet. It's from the future. Yeah, he's from the future. Mahmoud Awad. He's on. He's on Spotify. That's not. Yeah, but that's. Not that's a different guy. Yes, that's oh, okay. a homonym. It's, uh, it's not the same person. Ma the Mahmoud Awad from, okay. the, from the meme is not born yet because the music was sent from the future. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No, no. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> this song is from the future. You can't vibe to it yet. <laughs> that's. That's why you know what the, I'm uh, talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's why the album is called uh, Sheikh to the Future. Uh, it's a uh, okay. it's a uh, play of uh, words, uh, and uh, it's also a reference, I believe, to Shake Your Booty by Frank Zappa. I mean, my theory is that this is just an existing song that they just they just warped all the different levels on it to make it sound like this. Yeah, probably, but it never triggers any copyright robots, so uh, oh. it, mu it must be something like that's already obscure, and then they put a lot yeah. of filters. Uh, I, I, I don't know. And the the guy who created these tunes was never found. Because there has to be some person who modified them and whatever, and never, you know, you know he, we never knew who did that. Uh, even now, uh, it still remains a mystery. Because he doesn't exist yeah. yet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there needs to yeah, be like but... a. There needs to be a, a cold case, like investigation done on certain memes. <laughs> we could do Find that. Find the person uh, who did it. We could do that. We, that sh that's what our show should become: a, a cold case investigation of dead memes. Yeah. <laughs> meme meme aneurysm. Meme CSI. <laughs> meme SVU. <laughs> C CSI meme meme edition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you liked uh, world? I was gonna say world star, world peace, <laughs> world star. <laughs> <laughs> what? World peace by Million Dollar Extreme. I gotta say, I watched it and I didn't understand shit. So either it was completely lol so random, and I. Okay, holds up Spork, the Penguin of Doom, or it was just references <laughs> that was that were so obscure, 
or disguised that I didn't catch single one of them. But yeah, I gotta say, I was really bored by watching uh, World Peace because it's just ra random shit happening and total nonsense, you know. So I, I, if there was something to understand, I didn't get it. Maybe it was too deep for you. <laughs> sure. It, it has it has some sort of thing going on in the background of like all the skits. There's some some weird vibe going on. Um. It, it, aesthetically, though, it's really interesting. I mean, yeah, sure, sure. sure. Yeah, only episode I've seen was uh, it was the three dudes, but like they're all getting broken up with by the same girl, and then one guy just drives the car into oh, her. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. I thought that was funny as hell. Actually, I laughed at that, that part, but like the rest of the episode yeah. was just like what they're like putting a bunch of shit in a drink or something. <laughs> yeah, when they made Flint oh, yeah, water. Yeah. Flint, Michigan water. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was something. That I mean, sure was is... something. I guess it's not a show for everybody. I mean, it's on no. Adult Swim and even more so. But... And they cancelled the hell out of it, so... They only got, what, six like episodes? Mm, Ten, something I think. like that, yeah. I mean, just one season. It was just one season, yeah. I'd be interested in watching the rest of it, you know, just for, you know, lols, but... Mm. There's always at least one or two good sketches going on, and the rest are, like, sort of... Yeah, they leave you puzzled. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I like the, the music thing that they put at the end. Uh, it was pretty cool. Yeah. Like, one of my favorite videos from Million Dollar Extreme will always be that video. It's really short, uh, when uh, Nick Rushfor uh, imitates Tom York. <laughs> I haven't seen that. He's so good at it. Like, it really sounds like Tom York. And it's, it's like just 30 second video of just Nick. And they're, they're like, I don't know, it's weird. It's like at night and they're like in a train, train station or whatever. <laughs> it's, just, it's a little surreal. But, um, yeah, 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 but, um, <sighs> Dan, what is a meme that you hate? That I hate? Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> I got some. Uh, one, it's, uh, kind of overused. I kind of been around for a while, but the, uh, the women yelling at the cat. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's okay. just kind yeah. of annoying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. my personal least favorite. Yeah, we hate it. And I mean, um, yeah. there's a page right now going on. Probably heard of Versus Bot. Yeah. Yeah, uh, they're doing like meme of the decade. I think the cats yelling at the, uh, or the woman yelling at the cat beat out, um, my name is Jeff. And I was what? kind of pissed about that. Yeah, exactly. Like, uh, <laughs> Holy quote shit. unquote, normies took over versus bot, and they're hijacking the meme of the decade polls. <sighs> oh my god, these people are so short-sighted. They they can literally only remember what's happened in like the past three months. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's really yeah. sad. I really sad. Just like not sighted. And they clicked that random. I bet this fuckers like this. Uh, Fucking dude, like, uh, with the salt. Yeah. That, the Turkish chef who puts salt on salt everything. Bay. Yeah. Oh, uh, God. That and, um, what was else around the time? Chicken SpongeBob. Ah! Uh, oh, yeah. I've seen some good ones. It was not, it was not always, it was not always bad. Um, I've seen it being used, uh, you know. Uh, uh, from all the Spongebob memes, it's far from being the worst. There's so many awful Spongebob memes. I, I legitimately didn't get a Spongebob meme, and still don't. Um, there, there'd be some text, I can't even remember just like what the text would say, but then they'd post the, um, the caveman, like the, the, yeah. Yeah, the caveman Spongebob, and oh. I just didn't know uh. what they were trying to say. I just didn't get it. Caveman Spongebob? Yeah, I just didn't get it. What, like, is it, is there something happening in the show that's relevant to that image or? Yeah. It was usually, it was, he's like looking around like, huh, huh, like they're. 
Is that uh, it? I think, like Squidward yeah. went back in time or something. He was messing around with the time machine. Yeah. I'm seeing I'm seeing one that says when you're watching a movie with your parents and a sex scene comes on and the and both the caveman SpongeBob's are like like standing at alert with okay. caveman yeah. SpongeBob kid in the middle and it's like, oh god, like freaking out, going caveman here. Like okay. we're, we're going on alert caveman. now. Almost that doesn't make sense. Yeah. That does not make any sense. I never sense. got it. It's like yeah, almost never, it doesn't make sense. I, doesn't make any fucking no. sense. Makes so much sense. No. What? No, it doesn't. When you when you at your girl's house for dinner and she say pass the salt, daddy, and you both reach for it, and then it's just caveman SpongeBob. It's and it's two it's two fuck? caveman SpongeBob's like looking at each other. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> yeah, you guys don't. What? How is this not <laughs> obvious? <laughs> When you're at when you're at the doctor's office with your mom, and the doctor <laughs> asks if you're sexually active, and it's caveman SpongeBob. Yeah, see, the- if I if I saw that before this conversation, I'd look at it and go, I don't I don't know what they're trying to trying to say. I I remember when caveman SpongeBob was a 4chan Mew thing, and it was like when the band has two drummers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a moment of like, what the fuck? Like you're you're <laughs> freaked where, out. Where does the caveman think? Oh, okay, because it's like it's He's like some like, primitive Ooh. part of your brain or something, like fight or flight. I don't know. Yeah, don't yeah. Know. I appreciate that explanation, though. That's Thank an you. interesting case of a meme that I thought I understood, and I realize now <laughs> that I don't. <laughs> if anything, your explanation may be more confused than I was before. Radial blur, Mr. Krabs is just the better version of that, though. Yeah, <laughs> see, I oh, get that. Because radial blur yeah. makes everything it's funny. It's the same. It's the same thing. It's it's the same thing. Same thing. Yeah, same but he's show. wearing the yeah. leather leather things. That's that's funny. Oh, the loin cloth. Yeah. yeah. Um. Uh-huh. I think I was placing too much importance on the fact that he was in- he looked like a caveman, and I was just like, are they saying, like, that he's going back in- like, that- No, I just didn't get it at all. <laughs> it's like I would just read them <laughs> for like, weeks and just go, I don't know. He's freaked out, that's- that's- It's like, it reminds me of the uh, Xavier Renegade Angel episode where it goes back in time. <laughs> what time period is any of Xavier and Get Angel in? Uh, well, present, present day. <laughs> okay. It happens like Where people can be made out of mosquitoes. Yeah. Uh, oh no, no, it's the um, uh, poodle dogs, not mosquitoes. Yeah, poodle dogs. Uh, the, the the mosquito thing was a different episode. And, uh, oh, yeah. it, it was the episode yeah. when they when they go uh, when he goes in the past. I think like he sees on TV. Uh, yeah, it says every cigarette uh, takes back five minutes from her oh, life. Yeah, yeah. Every slice and of bacon. bacon takes back seven minutes. So he he smokes like a shitload of cigarettes and eats a shitload of bacon. So he goes <laughs> back in time. It's mm, time I travels through the caveman uh, era. I think it's season one. I'm not. No, I'm not sure. That's uh, probably season two. What's that, anyway. Xavier Renegade Angel? It's like the best Adult Swim show that ever was. That's the yeah, dude with like great. the snake is the arm, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I I've seen that around. I never gotten around to watching it, but it'd probably be oh, like right up so my alley. Good. It's so good. It's so fucking good. I own it on DVD. Wow. Nice. That's commitment. Yeah. Wow, that's old as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, I'm looking at that now and just remembering how confused I was for so long. Like, the, the, oh, what? okay, you turn into a caveman when the teacher changes slides. <laughs> he, he's freaked out. The caveman you know, like, has nothing oh. to do with it. It's just his expression. Yeah. Yeah. I see. Just look. Just look at the face. That's weird. His concern. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, what's going on, dude? Yeah. He's like, do I need do I need to hit it over the head with a rock? I see, I see. Yeah. The overwhelming majority of cartoon-based memes are so awful for some reason, except especially the Tom and Jerry ones, which like always for some reason, when you see a Tom and Jerry meme, you know it's gonna be the worst edgy shit 
ever. Oh, yeah, like Jerry with the expression, like, yes. confused. Like, I yeah, hate yeah, that yeah. picture. Oh, I hate it so much. I think it's one of those, um, like, the four horsemen of, like, edgy Steam profile exactly. pictures. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's always, and SpongeBob is another one. Like Tom and Jerry, SpongeBob, and uh, whatever else. Uh, whatever Marvel bullshit, like the Avengers or whatever. That's not a cartoon, but it feels like it feels like one. So it gets uh, it gets a uh, technical cartoon honorary status. Honorary cartoon pass. Yeah, I guess. Being honorarily as shitty as a cartoon meme. <laughs> I haven't really seen many Avengers memes. Just really Thanos, but yeah. yeah. And Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> reactions. It kind of feels oh, like an Avenger so meme because he's, he's Tony Stark. His like little like, what's the the poses sort of like? Are you, oh, you're talking to me or whatever that like uh yeah that surprise. But he's saying stuff like, "I have hepatitis." Or like, <laughs> oh, that okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, in like the yeah. ironic version of it, but like I think I think <laughs> yeah. he's like, <laughs> I don't know. Well, th there's there's Robert Downey Jr. rolling his eyes, which is like a very just stupid normie. Oh uh, yeah, like but here we go again. That's uh, or, ugh, it's Monday. It's He's always like in gift form too. No, that's Garfield. That's Garfield who hates Mondays. N no, Ro Robert Downey Jr. also hates Monday. God damn, that's plagiarism. <laughs> could it, could it? But everybody hates Monday. <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. is like overwhelmingly present in Indian memes. You know these Indian memes that Tony Zaret paradises <laughs> all the time. Tony Zaret's amazing. Yeah, it's so good. It's so good. We're big fans. Yeah. I tried to invite him on the my podcast like ten times, but he never answered. Uh, maybe, We're gonna get him. Yeah, I think we will. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but. Um, yeah, I, I, the Avengers meme, memes, there was so many of them, there was like, uh, I see this as an absolute win, it was probably the least offensive of all of them, and, uh, but yeah, there were, did you have the, did you have the large cock Thanos meme, uh, yeah, I've uh, seen that around, <laughs> I love it, large cock Thanos, yeah, it, it was huge in France, for some reason, and it, it was just, it was just a pic, it was just a picture of Thanos, uh, with like a fat penis, and uh, it was oh labeled, God. uh, oh, Thanos has a fat cock, or something like this. I'm looking it's, at it now. Yeah, the, the, before that it was, um, the Chandler from Friends was like the, the mascot. Oh, of this, yeah. Uh, there was a lot of, um, and there was another dude, I don't remember who. But yeah, the, the whole uh, Abdul Khan Mohammed thing. Um, it, there, there is a wiki for all that shit. That's so good. Like, uh, it's it started with all these be like bro uh, Indian memes, like from Laughing Colors and Funwa. Oh no! <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah, and like that. Yeah, there's a, there's a full wiki, like, and the, with the lore and everything. That's uh, it's like it's kind of like. Uh, SCP for the ironic age. You know, I've heard someone say that um, Indian memes are always like 10 years behind. So in like 2025, <laughs> they're just going to get like super ironic, like what we're posting now. Dota is just going to start like coming to India. Dope <laughs> 2 in India. When. Mary Kane Doje Hun. <laughs> super, super, super power in, in three weeks, guys. Yeah. yeah, I'm ready for that. I'm excited. Superpower? Talks, uh, clock's ticking. Yeah. India becomes a world superpower in three weeks. Yeah. Wait, who says? India. Everyone. <laughs> I, I haven't heard about it. Tell me, tell me like I haven't heard about it. Well, it started as a feud on 4chan between people who was like a yeah, uh, and there was some dude who was like, yeah, fuck you, you Indian bastard. Uh, you people are, like, uh, <laughs> retarded, and you shit in the streets. And the other dude, like, was like, yeah, well, you know what? Uh, watch your mouth, because right now the situation is not great, but uh, India will become a superpower by 2020. Oh. <laughs> and that just 
got repeated over and over again because it was just so good. Okay. <laughs> so. Yeah. Oh it wow, that's it was kind of like the, right around the corner. It was kind of like the last chapter of the designated shitting streets meme. <laughs> it's weird that just the same joke of of saying that Indians shit in the street is just somehow a, a lasting, such a lasting joke. I mean, yeah, but the thing was so good. I don't, if you if you remember the original thing, it was like, uh, yeah. It, it was on 4chan and, and, the, and some guy was like, yeah, you Indians, you're not really civilized. Uh, you shit in the streets. Uh, that's <laughs> disgusting. Uh, and, the, in, and, and some Indian dude replied with, well, first, we don't shit in every street. We have designated, designated shitting streets. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's Aww. how it started. And then there was this whole Poo in Lu thing. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. The yeah, the, mm -hmm. the it was made by the government uh, with uh, I think Uni United Nations or uh, Doctors Without Borders or some. They did like a like CGI video, right? Yep. I mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, that was really really weird. <laughs> okay, so very serious question for everybody. Uh huh. If you could have any country as your superpower, what which superpower would you have? Albania. <laughs> Why? I don't know, like there's a whole <laughs> thing going around. I, I don't know how big it's gotten, but the whole random ass European countries making memes about them. You like Albania? Albania's mm -hmm. just been the go-to. Bosnia's like number two. <laughs> Latvia is going at the strong third. Yeah. I think I think I follow a page called LGBTQ Albania or something uh, like that. That's L LGBT Latvia. That's was the one I was thinking of. Yeah, and it's pretty great. Oh, I think I have an Albanian version. Oh. Oh, maybe it's like these uh, Domino's Pizza and McDonald's uh, pages from yeah. all around the world. Uh, and, uh, Blockbuster Zimbabwe, or <laughs> like South Sudan. Blockbuster Uganda. Uh, yeah, if, if the, the person, the, if the person who good. owns the Gar Garagan Two and uh, statue of Lenin's face in the parking lot, please, uh, please remove it. We're waiting for a delivery. <laughs> <laughs> they they'd have like photos of like crocodiles in parking lots and just saying, please, please avoid the the rear parking lot yeah. when renting your movies today. <laughs> yeah. So good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know how that started, but I think the first one was like Domino's Pizza Zimbabwe or something like that. I just remember <laughs> Blockbuster Uganda always being there. They were feuding with Netflix. Um, I think could have been Netflix Zimbabwe or something like that. There was like a, a page feud. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, it probably started with the fake. Food Network Twitter account that got banned a long time ago uh, because they it was like a theft of brown copyright bullshit or whatever. But there was this uh, this fake Food Network Twitter account that had kind of the same logo and everything as the Food Network. They said like, uh, uh, "Want to whip up a cool dessert in a hurry?" D dump a bag of Oreos on the floor and eat the Oreos of the floor like a fucking animal, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. Uh, I'm sad it got... Uh, it, it, yeah, I think it got closed in 2011 or something. It was like a antique post-ironic era. The, 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 not quite post-ironic yet, but... Uh, all that thing that was around horse ebooks, of course, and drill and all that. Yeah. Uh, I think the whole precursor to what we're experiencing now with memes is uh, remember montage parodies in like 2013, 2014? MLG. MLG parodies, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like it or not, that's kind of where it all started. <laughs> maybe I, I feel like it maybe even started before. before that but uh, if, yeah yeah the MLG with the air horn and all that yeah, it was it was, uh, it was crazy that died out fast yeah 
but it still lives in our hearts. The uh, the flame that burns twice as bright t- burns half as long. <laughs> I think there'll be a, a resurface of that. The shit. <laughs> When I'm, when, I'm, when I'm, or you are editing this episode, after <laughs> that quote by Giles, we gotta put a shitload of air horn noises. Little Mountain Dew and Doritos <laughs> spinning <laughs> around. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hit markers, hit markers, and uh, yeah. Gold coins. Ching, yes. ching, 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 yeah, ching, ching. Yeah. Hit markers on. Smoke. Smoke. <laughs> Smoke weed every day. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Can we just uh, do all of our sound effects, like, verbally? <laughs> I think they're way better. Make it really, really sound. good. I think that was a really underrated meme when people made songs or whatever, but they replaced everything by smoke weed every day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, entire anime intros with just, like, Snoop Dogg. Yes! Nichi Jewel. Nichi Nichi joint. Is, uh, <laughs> yes, exactly. My ordinary weed. Uh, uh, that that one is so good, and I've never watched that anime at all. But I know the theme song by heart because I've seen the smoke weed every day. Meme so <laughs> exactly. Often. That's like replaced it in my mind. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Smoke smoke weed every day. You have a good singing oh, voice, Nelson. Awesome. Thanks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Lots of practice. I can tell. <laughs> it shows. Oh wait, what time is it over there? Over where? We're In everywhere. France. <laughs> We're all over the world, baby. For me, it's one a.m. One a.m. Uh, it's about seven p.m. here. It's about six p.m. here. What time is it in Australia, Giles? Eleven a.m. Nice. I woke up just for this. Yeah. Okay, guys, I have a really random fact that I just remembered in the middle of whatever we were just saying. Um, so I have an <clears throat> I have an uncle, and I think it was my uncle Johnny. And when he was in college, he <laughs> I don't remember if it was Johnny or Danny, but I think it was Johnny. So Uncle Johnny. Yeah, the the the, the name is very important. <laughs> Johnny, when he was in college, um, started the Chester Allen Arthur fan club, which is like the the least remembered U.S. president of like all of the U.S. presidents. <laughs> and I like I was just thinking about that. It's some, something you were talking about, some obscure, obscure people being remembered. And I'm like, yeah, my, I think shit posting runs in my family because that's no. it's kind of a it's kind of a shit poster move. Somehow reminds me of that uh, episode of Adventure Time when they uh, they're a little video game friend. Oh, Bimo. Um, yeah, uh, she has to go on some quest or whatever, and so she gets replaced by this big ass uh, fake video game guy, <laughs> and he he can play only one game, this the, the Hangman, <laughs> and. Uh, but but it's always the same answer. This oh, as yeah, a yeah. Burgess Meredith. Oh, not Burgess Meredith again! <laughs> <laughs> it was like a, an obscure actor from that silent era or whatever. <laughs> it's, uh, it's great. It's just a, it's just the right uh, nuance of randomness. I have a uh, question for Dan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Have you ever taken on other admins for your page? Um, right now I think we have uh, six of them. We've taken on yeah uh, a few over the past. I'm really the only one that posts anymore. Yeah, and and has there ever been drama within those admins? We've actually been pretty all set. Um, cool. The only drama I. Th- not really drama, is a page creator, the guy that made the page with me, a guy I know IRL. Um, he just basically got sick of the community and just left on his own. A few other people for the same reason. Just because, uh, I don't know, you see people in your comments section, it's kind of shitty, generally. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. They just didn't want to be involved with that anymore. But I get it. Couldn't take the negativity. Yeah, not go- like uh not drama with other admins, but just having a problem with the people in the comments and the kind of community and the people that our memes tend to bring out some of them not really that great what's wrong with our people <laughs> nah <laughs> it's great. Way, where does the name surface reality memes comes from Ooh, that is um <laughs> my friend uh was watching this uh well Y'all know Death Grips, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everyone yeah. knows Death Grips by now. But back when they were, like, not as big, there was an interview with MC Ride. And um, I don't even remember what the question was, but he just oh. said, I'm not into really surface reality that much. And that's it. <laughs> and, and is, that also, is that also why you're um, the URL for the page? Jimi is Hendrix. Some, of yeah, Jimi Hendrix. Because in that interview, he mentioned, said he listens to Jimi Hendrix. I think the quote was like, I, I was inspired by like, the Jimi Hendrix, of course. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So I remember that's that too because just... I was like, "Oh, I like Jimi Hendrix too." There we go. <laughs> Me and MC Rider friends. And it's just we haven't even changed the URL like since. <laughs> good. Good. That's a. Uh, it's a good move. I have a question. Mm-hmm. How how many layers of irony are you on for real? <laughs> <laughs> uh the correct response would just to be not to answer, and that would be <laughs> the answer. <laughs> Whoa. That's how many layers. Damn. S- small text nice. saying you- this was supposed to be legs. <laughs> <laughs> you outsmarted me on that one. <laughs> Do you know what happened, by the way? Because, uh, I mean, uh, what happened to... Special meme fresh. No, no. He stopped, um, he stopped posting a while ago. He deleted his Facebook page. He deleted his Twitter account. He's still on Tumblr, but he doesn't post. I mean, the account is still up, but he doesn't use it anymore. I've tried contacting him. I've tried contacting him. Wow. I've tried contacting him several times, and um, yeah, he doesn't seem uh, to be anywhere. It's it's, uh, it's strange. I mean, some people, some people just move on, I guess. Ah, uh, yeah, but when you move on, you have to delete everything, and uh, it's, it's, yeah, I mean, it's weird. Um, you want to be mysterious, I guess. Leave, <laughs> leave uh, all his memes in the 2010s and just go into the 2020s living a normal life. Where, where oh, do you move yeah. on from here, though? Like, where do people go after Ar- this? Argentina, I think. <laughs> but don't, aren't they also making memes there? So. What? Aren't they also making memes in Argentina? No, it was being cheeky. It was a reference to the old Nazis who flew to South America after the war. Oh. Yeah. I was being a cheeky fucker. It made <laughs> me think of Yellow Submarine, the Beatles movie. <laughs> Yeah. It's a line in that. Why? There's a little blue meanie. A little blue meanie who just, he says, like, yeah, where will we go? Where will we go? And he he Uh says, Argentina. Oh. Maybe that's a Nazi reference. I I didn't catch. (laughs) (laughs) Why not? It's it's possible. But like, we're we're not, we're not committing um, crimes against humanity here, are we? Not yet. Memes against humanity. Memes against humanity? <laughs> is that a meme page yet? Oh, that's such a probably it, is. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. Hey. Ooh, what's happening? Yep. It's, it's prob- got seven seventy-three members. It's a group on Facebook. Uh oh, it's a group, it's fine. <laughs> Groups don't nobody gives a shit about groups. <laughs> There's a there's a page called Memes Against Humanity All Rights Reserved and how many followers does it have? It's hard. Oh, but, uh, uh, groups are uh, the future, according to Facebook themselves. Groups are the future. Yeah. Yeah. They want everybody to self censor and stop bothering each other. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's too horizontal. I mean, it's fun, but it's not as good as. Uh, I don't. I don't. I cannot find the memes against humanity page. Though. Memes against humanity, all rights reserved. Oh, I was clicking on the wrong. Okay, 10k likes they have. Yeah, but they they're Do not we... really posting anything that's getting likes currently. <laughs> that's just a lot of pages. Should we try to buy it? No, just start a new one. They're not they're not doing a good job with it. Just just ignore them. Uh, yeah. Just uh, just pretend they True. don't exist. I mean, the thing that they just posted with the baby Yoda with the Joker mask and costume <laughs> is pretty it's pretty fucking up there. You think so? I really, I, re I really, I really like it. I'm gonna share it. I don't give a fuck. I was just looking at the fact that nobody liked it. <laughs> That's weird. But sometimes the the, the reach mm. gets complete. Yeah, it's, they they have zero likes. It's so fucking weird. Yeah, people, so, people are just not paying attention to this page. What I've noticed is in running smaller pages is um. You get to 10,000 likes, and everything under that, like, everybody Your sees it. Your reach just, like, goes down. Mm. It's crazy. And that's well, why... I've heard... Okay. What I've been doing is, you know, the awesome reality time pages I run with Awesome Company and Gaming Time? Yeah. So, we're on the third one now, because we keep getting to 10,000, and we don't delete it, we just move on to another page, because... That's how you keep the reach up. Probably. I, I never observed such thing, though. It's because I have a lot of pages, most of them pretty small, and I never witnessed that reach drop after 10k. Um, I've, heard of, I've heard about it a million times by other admins, but I've never seen it happen. It's weird. It's like, it's slow. Like, no one just sees it in their feed anymore. They just prioritize... I, I don't know, Facebook likes to prioritize seeing stuff from groups more than pages. That's... Yeah, that's a little strange, because there's, the there's a whole tab, especially for groups, but pages are, like, mixed with people's posts. Mm. I don't know. I don't know, I'm kind of suspicious about this meme page, though. Like, all of the comment for every single photo is just hashtag M-A-H from, like, Memes Against Humanity. And there's no cohesive taste or theme to anything that they're posting. It seems like it's run by a bot or something. I can't, huh. I can't really figure it out. Russian spies. Right, every, <laughs> every, everything is just, just Russian, the trolls. Russians. Russian trolls. Russian trolls. <laughs> it's all of it. That's how I see the world. <laughs> Full of Russian trolls. I, Probably not so far from reality. Occasionally people friend me, friend me on Facebook, and obviously you get the, the people who are fake. Like, the first mm -hmm. post they've made says, like, add me on kick or something like that <laughs> um and they've only got like two other friends but occasionally i do get added by someone and i just think like what 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 purpose would there be to create a bot that's going to try and like talk to me or it's it's weird like i don't like having to think like is this person real or not mm -hmm. and just like Com conversation with people we're just looped back to Descartes radical doubt theory you know right right it's uh from indonesia right yeah there's a lot of them from the there's a lot of them from mexico there are a lot of indonesians out there i i don't know what happens with this but like if you uh when a new movie comes out you can just like put a public post be like say joker 1080p stream hd and mm -hmm. then, like, just a bunch of Indonesian bots will just, like, send, <laughs> put links in your comments. Really? And it's, That's... like, the funniest wow. thing. Wow, <laughs> i never heard about that before. Awesome. Gotta, gotta try it. Yeah. Try it out, like, next time, like, probably with Frozen, you can do uh, it. Yeah, Fe Frozen Elsa Fit Peaks for free. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, haven't, uh, I haven't done it in maybe, like, six months, but every time, it, it always worked. <laughs> So what I've seen in, like, a few groups that I'm in is, like, a number of commenters that are just, like, unnecessarily argumentative and, and edgy and boisterous. And then you, like, go to their profiles 
and just something seems a little bit off uh, about it. Like there's this one whose um, whose bio is whose bio is like my vagina is trash fire. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like just just really weird. And then, and then and then um you know you check the other people that are liking their comments, and some of them have Russian names on it, mm. and. <laughs> Like, this has got my paranoia that, like, they really are all amongst us, like, just tr- trying to start little For fights sure. For sure. with people. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so, I'm, yeah, I'm very paranoid on, on Facebook. Yeah, there was this huge thing on Tumblr not so long ago when the Tumblr staff gave an update. They never do usually, but they, yeah, so we've investigated, uh, you know, claims that uh, there are some Russian boats on Tumblr, and so... Uh, we uh, deleted like uh, two thousand accounts of uh, Russian boats that were operating on. First, if you're trying to operate some kind of vast t- political trolling organiza- organization movement, don't do it on Tumblr of all places. And also, I I got to look at many of the blogs, and like almost all of them just posted some cat memes, so it was confusing. I mean, I mean, if yeah. the memes are funny, then they can stick around. These bots. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> if they're contributing good content, yeah, if they I'm can laughing, stay. It's just like, well, you're a citizen now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, it, it was really weird because um, most of these memes had nothing to do with politics or whatever. It was like, just like uh, uh, some fat cat Discord. and uh, sewing Discord. Yeah, it was just some fat cat. And uh, there was written in <laughs> Russian, like, oh, look at this round boy. And just, just shit like this. Just pages and pages and pages of that. But were they, are, are, uh, on Tumblr, are you able to comment on other people's stuff? Yeah. Well, maybe they were commenting on other people's stuff from those accounts that's, and yeah, saying, that's, saying that's absolutely mean possible, things, yeah. mean, dumb things. Yeah. In Russian, yeah. Or in English. Just like in a uh, fucking um, Clockwork Orange. What? In uh, there's a there's a really there's a great book by a dude called Anthony Burgess. Oh yeah, I've seen the movie. A Clockwork. Uh, yeah, the movie is not not quite as good as the book, uh, and it's called The Clockwork Orange, and they use a lot of Russian words. Uh, because they've because of the Russian propaganda uh, yeah. trolls that have kind of infiltrated the culture at the t- uh, at the time set in uh, in the future, but mm. not very far in the future. Like you know, I I don't remember when it's supposed to take place, but it's like a a few decades from now. Not uh, kind of like a Black Mirror kind of future, you know. So because of unforeseen circumstances, we had to stop recording at this point. Uh, We recorded part two, which will be in a few seconds, a few weeks later. So this was recorded in December and part two was recorded in late January. So almost two months apart. Uh, Lisa was not available for part two, so it will just be Dan, Giles and myself. And this is an excellent occasion for me to remind you that this podcast is sponsored by Palm Treat. They're a great little company from California, which make ironic vaporwave anime shirts, all that aesthetic that you love. Use um, discount code MOJITO, M-O-J-I-T-O, for 10% off your purchase. And the shipping is free. Now, back to the podcast. Giles is most likely hangovered. And sleep deprived because I was talking to him like five hours ago on Facebook and he was not asleep yet and still drinking some tin foil wine as they do in Australia. And uh, I, for one, I'm feeling great. I am in great shape. We are back with our host, uh, not host, our guest, of course, Surface Reality Memes, a.k.a. Dan the Man, mm-hmm. uh, the truck man. Yeah. Truck, deli- truck delivery, ma- ma- uh, no, um, shit. Um, uh, I what? <laughs> yeah. Deliver trucks in with truck, no, um, 
I just un shelf stalker, truck unloader, all that. You're a you're a warehouse man, basically. Basically, yeah. Because I used to be a warehouse man for two years, not so long ago, so uh, I should know the word. Um, so yeah, it's not um, that fun, right? <laughs> it's not one of the worst jobs I've done. Uh, it's actually pretty relaxed compared to a lot of the shit I've done. I've, I've worked in factories. I've worked in fast foods. Uh, the warehouse stuff was pretty much the most laid back job I ever had. Just gets so, boring though, right? You can oh agree? yeah, it gets so boring. It's so boring. Like you get you get there uh, at uh, 10 a.m. Uh, by 11 and a half, you're you're like so fucking done. By the you're like uh, consumed by the boredom. Cannot wait for lunch break. Okay. Uh, yeah, it gets really really boring. Yes. Uh, how would you feel about that job being automated somehow? Uh, how would I feel about my job being automated? Uh, I'd be out of a job <laughs> if it was completely automated. Right now, I'm just like, you know, it's it's boring, it's kind of lame, but I don't really know where else I'm going right now. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Future. I'm thinking that maybe if all these jobs got automated, people like us who have, like, no diplomas and no career um, could, like, reconvert in robot maintenance oh yeah like because there's gonna be a lot of robots to do maintenance on and this reminds me of this beautiful quote by the underrated writer kurt vonnegut uh, who once said one of the greatest tragedies of humanity is that everyone wants to build but no one wants to do maintenance uh, I, for hmm. one, I am very hmm. in favor of repairing and maintaining things. So uh, if a lot of jobs get taken by robots, people will have to take care of these robots. And I do not mean that in a Luddite sense. Don't put a twist on my words. But yes, I think that maybe cleaning the robots, robot cleaner, I could do that. <laughs> robot cleaner. Yeah, robot. I guess. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's uh, yeah, yeah. I agree with that. Yep, yeah, future is uh, well, we're in the 2020s now. Yep, it wasn't like that last time. The roaring 20s, yeah, hell yeah. I mean, uh, the, the fire is certainly roaring, uh, down there. Some more metallic noises. This is like <laughs> uh, a oh, concert. Yeah. Tapped a can. I thought you were. I thought you were cleaning the robot. Yeah, yeah, I'm in the factory right now. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> so, uh, so. Uh, b by the way, um, I just a quick word on this because for uh, weeks and weeks I've heard about the fires in Australia yes. that are like so big and so everywhere, and today. I, apparently, there's been like a complete situation twist. There's floods and sandstorms. Hmm. Which which part of Oz? Aust Aust uh, Australia, as far as I know. So obviously not yours, or you well, would be aware of them. <coughs> Yesterday, um, there was big storms. Yes. Um, and okay. also, smoke is covering most of the state too. Huh. So. Really smoky, and then like crazy thunderstorms. But the sandstorm must be a different part. It's, we, I mean, there's not a lot of sand in Victoria. No, it's not. It's not. Uh, I, I, I did the. I, I confused with the classic tune by uh, oh, fucking oh, Darude. Scan, Scandinavian dude. Yeah, Darude. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's, um, dust storm is what I meant to say. Uh, there are yeah, dust yeah. storms, apparently, but also floods. I've heard about floods. Are you uh, yeah, well, um, wet or dry? <laughs> Am I wet or dry? Uh, that's, well, that's yes. fine, uh, New South Wales. You're the one who is in Australia, so... Yes, apparently, yeah. So that's the, the eastern part of uh, Australia, if I uh, know my geography correctly. <laughs> Yeah, right. well, okay, so Victoria's, like, real southeast. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're right, right, right in the north Tasmania. Yeah. My cousin was there a few days ago. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, New South Wales. It's like doing so a, a little bit, a little bit higher than where I am. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm looking at it now. Cheers for updating me on the situation in my country. <laughs> That's weird. That's weird, man. But yes, uh, you're welcome. Yeah, so that I don't know on, on Tumblr, I think. I was hanging out on Tumblr. Yeah. And people were like, yeah, you know about the fires in Australia and then the floods. And I was like, what? The floods? <laughs> I, what? <laughs> well, now there are dust storms, <laughs> not sand storms, like in the Darude <laughs> song that goes do 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 do. Dust storm. <laughs> like, damn, is Australia even like a real place on Earth? Like, it sounds like a barren other world yeah. or something. Um, I it's mean, really big. It's like it always surprisingly does. big. It always with the with the spiders and drop bears and all that. It always sounds like. And it it was funny because uh, someone was like, "Wow, uh, are are they trying to like?" Uh, Recreate Mad Max in Australia. Wasn't Mad Max in Australia all along? Yeah, yeah. I read this great theory once. I think it was uh, probably on, on Tumblr as well. Uh, that in the future where Mad Max happens, it's just in Australia that the situation is like this and the rest of the world is just <laughs> like today. <laughs> I love this. I love it so much. Like, it's just Australia. The rest of the world hasn't changed. The Mad Max thing is just Australia. And, um, yeah. The fires were really... just the beginning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I saw also there's a... These, um, they were uh, saying, like, uh, first came the fires and then the flood. You know, all these uh, uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion references. <laughs> so... I'm not into anime, so I, I don't understand the details, but uh, that was the gist of it. Well, yeah, uh, drop bears are almost extinct now because of the fires. Oh, so that's something. Mm. Functionally extinct, I read an article saying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's uh, for the people who are listening who don't know what the fuck is going on. Drop bears are a cryptid. It's like the <laughs> Loch Ness monster, or Bigfoot, or uh, la la bête du Givaudan. It's not really a real animal, but it's really fun to think about. It's like the it's like a unicorn, but more Australian, you know. So it's it falls from a tree and it and it rips you in half, <laughs> uh, just like just like uh, Australians yeah. tend to do. I was gonna say Australian creatures, but Australians in general. I I, yeah. re I remember. <laughs> Something that I read recently, I think it was also on Tumblr, uh, was like, why do people make up all this shit about all the Australian animals that are trying to kill you when you're in Australia? When clearly, when, when you are in Australia, the most imminent danger to your life at all times is Australians. <laughs> that reminds me well, of... I mean, uh... that makes sense. Like, on the topic of cryptids, I remember, like, this guy on a page called Cryptids Exposed, and it was just, like, like it was just a meme page, but it he had a picture of Slenderman, for example, blatantly in the picture with just, like, the red line, uh, the red circle oh, around yeah. it. <laughs> it's like, you can't make it any more obvious. And the whole page was just stuff like that. That's crazy. I never heard of it. That sounds so great. Probably got sucked. I can't find it anymore. <laughs> oh, damn. So many great pages that we will never get to see. Someone, I never thought about this before, but someone should be archiving them. With all the zucchini that is going on uh, and never stops, recently we lost uh, our friend. Uh... Special name Fresh, right? Oh no no he does he hasn't got zucked he's the one who went away. Oh he away. just left on his own. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, it's a uh, set screenshot taken out of context, uh, and uh, if it oh, did shit. sound yeah, like that was recent. Yeah, yeah, that was recent. Uh, he got R. his R. page unpublished. He doesn't need, apparently he does not even know why I was talking about him recently about it, and it was kind of uh, unexpected. And his page had, had I think. Almost a million likes. Like he was at like uh, eight hundred thousand mm -hmm. and something. Uh, so uh, so it was a sad day. That just and, blows. Uh, 
Yes, it really does. Someone should be archiving all that shit. But the uh, the silver lining is very small silver lining, but it's something. Is that even when a page is unpublished, it's still up in the Facebook servers, and the admins of the page can still see it. So maybe they could like download the best parts or uh, screenshot the comments it's mm. still up it's just uh you you cannot see it unless you're an admin you or, basically um, make a backup file and start again that's really all you yeah. can go on yeah yeah <laughs> or i i just had the craziest idea that just occurred to me mm -hmm. maybe you could just like have your page unpublished and then invite all the fans to be admins oh then you get like um orange memes and cream de la meme and it just gets sucked super fast because people post whatever they want yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you That's remember true. that in like 2015 2016 i remember i remember it was really really sad i remember that's what happened to cream de la meme and uh, it was in 2015. And also, I remember that Orange Memes helped me a lot when I was still a, a young, uh, small page with uh, only a five digit number of likes. Uh, they yeah. sh shared a lot of my stuff. One of the admins sent me a lot of messages of support and he said that he, he loved what I, I was doing with my page. And it, it, it was, they were so nice. And yeah, I think it was in early 2016 that they just disappeared and they have they have not come back since. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually have never heard again from any of them. I, I don't know what happens. Cream de la Meme, same. They're gone. They're uh, never heard of, about him uh, or uh, never saw him on Facebook or whatever. It's... Uh, Weird. Maybe it's just moved on to the, with their lives. But it's 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 weird thought. I guess it's happening with other pages. They just move on. Don't want to do this anymore. Yeah, your mic is getting some mad noise right now. Is oh, I'm sorry. Ah, uh, no, it shouldn't be. Uh, it's it sounds like you're in a a, a wind. There's a lot of wind. Oh. Well. Might be my PC. I'm sorry. No, Doing it's um, it's like uh, it's like someone's rubbing their finger on it or something. Occasionally. Oh yeah. Yeah, it sounds like it sounds like a lot of friction is going on. Um, How about now. Better. Hmm. Um, that better. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, um, I don't know yeah. what just happened there. I'm sorry. You you, you no, mentioned it, it. It happens. You you mentioned Dan the um. The, the red circle around Slender. Yeah. Um, um, Nelson, you know you know that image with the hula hoop? Yes, I posted it on the page like what, two what, days ago. What is, what is, what is that image? Because I, I have no idea what it, <laughs> what it's trying to do. It's just, no, it's it, it's great because it's a picture like on the underground subway train. Yeah. And someone has someone has a red hula hoop inside their hand mm. uh, as they're they're sat on a on a chair on a uh, seat. Excuse me. And and when you glance at the picture without really looking, it really seems like one of those red circles yeah, drawing sure. paint <laughs> that you see all the time on, on Reddit, etc. But it's actually, it's it's not. It's life imitates art, <laughs> and it's just someone with a red hula hoop on the subway. <laughs> see, uh, I, and that's, that's it. Yes? I, I gathered that much. I gathered that it looks like that. But then I think you said when you see it, and for some reason that caused my brain to go like, wait, no, okay, there's something else going on with the image. And it looks like in the comments a lot of people also thought that. They're like looking desperately for like the, uh, for what it's trying to circle well, <laughs> or something. Well, no, like... <laughs> the, the, the when you see it was referring to seeing the fact that it's a hula hoop and not a circle that is being drawn mm. in a computer. Because mm. uh, at... Because at first glance, it really looks like one of these paint uh, circles uh, that, that you see all the time on uh, Indian pages. 
And, um, but no, it is really just someone sitting with a hula hoop in their hand. Cool, I'm yeah. Send you the picture. I just and, wanted to make sure that I was in the loop on that one. Oh, pun intended, I suppose. <laughs> Man. And it's nice. Uh, and yes, uh, when you look at the picture in, uh, large, like enlarged, it's obvious. But when you look at it and it's small, like on your phone and you're just scrolling, you don't notice right away that it's a hula hoop. Mm. When, it, when you know it's one, it's obvious. But when you don't know it's one, it really looks like one of those red circles uh, in, in the bad memes. Uh, <laughs> I found another and... version of it. It looks like... Um, it looks like this. This. Uh, yes. Yeah. So apparent. I never. I never saw this one before. But it's great. It's great. And uh... <laughs> if you want to trick a bunch of people, just put a red <laughs> in a picture of a random thing, like. <laughs> yes. It's like those old rage comics where it's like, when you see it, you'll shit yeah, bricks. You shit bricks. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's like the 2020 version of that. <laughs> What does shitting bricks even mean? Yeah, I was, was just that thinking in, about that. Was that expression invented for the needs of that specific meme? Or was it a pre-existing expression? So never heard it before or after. I don't know, but it sounds painful. <laughs> mm. And and Yes. What, eventually it like it, it became a troll thing where like they would put nothing in the image and you just it, that would just yeah. say when you see it and then you'd, and yeah. you'd spend ages just staring at an image trying to find whatever the fuck they were talking about yes oh I think yeah yeah I think you shared it a few weeks ago or maybe I did I don't remember but it was these two circles are the same size but they're just clearly <laughs> not oh yes <laughs> that's another classic I love that yeah. one. <laughs> it always just pisses so many people off <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy. It's like, no, they clearly aren't! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for pointing that out. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the... I don't know how to say in English, but we're just being the... In French, we say whore tongue. It's when you... You you say bad things about people when they're not around. Whore tongue? Uh, whore. Yeah. Talking behind their back? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Nice. I don't know there's an expression for that. Uh, bad mouth, maybe? Yes. Like in, the, like in the verb bad mouth thing? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I get what you mean. Some of these are so when bad. I hear... Sorry, I, I, searched a, I searched up shit bricks. And like... Yeah. They're, they're clearly just an image with like a punchline to it, but like I don't know why anyone would shit themselves because they saw like this picture of this <laughs> this man with an erection. Yeah. <laughs> like oh, I saw it. Oh, I'm shitting myself. Uh -oh. oh, is that what's it? <laughs> I think yeah, so. I Wait, maybe I, maybe there's like a hidden ghost or something in it. That's the oh. thing with a lot of these memes. No, no, it's never really it. obvious. It's never really obvious. And sometimes when you think you've seen it, actually, you're just imagining things because there's not <laughs> nothing to see. And it was a troll thing all along. I was imagining he had like three arms. Yeah, I was looking for the that. extra arm, but yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's in his pants, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, nah, this is just another image that's got me staring at it too long. God damn. What a weird phenomenon. So, uh, I don't remember a lot of the conversation we had last time. I remember we talked about this great artist, Mahmoud Awad, and also... <laughs> oh, the... he's from the future. Yes, yes. Yeah, and man. also this, uh, the post-African blank war. Uh... I think we're talking about <laughs> Doge, or like the new wave Doge. Oh yeah, we talked about Doge uh, quite a lot, yes. Uh, and uh, Sheems yeah, yeah. has taken Still... off a lot since then. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's nice. Sheems is I, everywhere uh... now. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. I think you're the one who introduced me to it, because uh, I didn't really uh, hear about it before, mm. uh, because I was so busy in like October, November, uh, when it uh, spurred out of nothingness. And uh, now I really do see it everywhere, and, and uh, it's great, it's great. It's so... I've seen it... Uh, it's also, just like the original Doge, so versatile. I've seen it in so many different memes, like one about the this Roman emperor, the people who thought he was uh, retarded because he had a speech impediment, but it turned out that it's just his mouth was fucked up, but his brain was uh, really great, and he outsmarted everyone else. Uh, um, uh, that was such a great story, and of course it was illustrated with the Doges as the Praetorian Guard and Cheems as the uh, the Emperor. Uh, oh yeah, it's it's a great meme. It's a great meme. The best memes are always the ones that uh, can be transformed into as many iterations and variations as possible, and can like uh, yeah. get mixed with other memes. That's the best. That's the best. That's the best. Well, so what, what do you think of um, what do you think of these like Duma, uh, guy and Duma girl? Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> uh, are you asking me or Nelson or both? Uh, you you definitely you first, have a, you're the yeah guest. you have a take on it so. Yeah, well, my you. take is, uh, I mean, Doomer's been around for years. You yeah. know the, the whole spinoff of Wojak, Wojak, whatever. And now all of a sudden, he's everywhere, and now there's a girl version. Yeah. Now there's all these variations of, like, him trying to pick up girl version, like, oh no, <laughs> Doomer guy is a creep, and, like, Doomer girl is super new, but it's just funny, you know, the first couple of days I saw it, and then, like, literally everybody's posting her. Yeah. Yeah, I never understand when I see a meme that is like this. If it's something that is completely random, or if it's one of these American stereotypes that are not American enough to understand, <laughs> uh, it was it it was exactly the same thing when this whole mess started with uh, the 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 Vojak with his receding air hairline, who is always drinking Monster energy drinks. Oh, I and love that guy. Mowing lawn. Oh, yeah. a boomer, thirty-year-old uh, boomer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I never understood if that was completely random because it feels completely random to me, uh, or if it's mm. uh, a, a foreign stereotype that I have no idea about. That's why I, I always kind of hated this meme because it all, it always just felt like, uh, lol, so random. The penguin of doom holds up spork. So, uh, I don't know. It's yeah. just supposed to be making fun of like dudes there in their thirties that are basically boomers at that point like oh i remember doom that was a good game <laughs> no but yeah but this makes sense but uh, why is the guy uh why why is the guy always mowing his lawn and why is he drinking monster energy energy drinks you know, anyway, <laughs> i like literally this? have no idea where the monster came from I mean, yeah that's so weird but the that's so weird that's it's too random uh, in my opinion like uh, i understand uh, what it's trying to say uh, but uh, it's saying it in a weird and cringy way, uh, in my opinion, that is uh, harming the potential fun of it. And uh, yeah, it's it's like when I saw that Doomer girl, I had the same uh, impression. Is that a stereotype or is it just randomness? Because I always saw her as a derpina. Like from these rage comics, from she basically 10 is years ago. Like, she literally is the same thing. It's it's generic goth. I found I found the um the example of it. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. That's but that's <laughs> like in ten years we've come full circle and we're just posting yeah. rage comics in like higher <laughs> definition. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I mean, That's the characters the have a little more depth. Um, what? 
Are you serious right now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna have to justify this. Yeah. Barely, but yeah. <laughs> so, not, I'm not gonna let you get away with it if you don't I, explain yourself. <laughs> I'm part of a um a group called the it's called Caricature Containment Chamber. Um Okay. It's like uh the, the, the philosopher's meme page has a bunch of different groups where they like study memes and and what have you. Um, and yeah, they've made a special group just to contain the, uh, the caricatures, these Duma guy and Duma girl, like, phase of the meme. Um, and so I've seen <laughs> really so enjoy. many, so many different, like, evolutions of it. Like, I, in fact, I've been sending a few of them to you, Nelson. Do you remember, um... Yes. Uh, like, it's, it's become like a dream within a dream within a dream. The, um... Yeah, yeah, Inception. Yeah. yeah, I think I've I've posted almost all the ones you've sent to me on on, on the page, uh, and uh, I really enjoy the fact that you use the term "contain." Like, it makes me think about yeah. SCP. Yeah, yeah, they've um well like uh so on in the group, um there's about a there's an album with about a hundred and six images, and it's called "Recently Contained." Uh, colon Duma GF. Okay. It's uh yeah, and basically this this doomer person is just like uh, a dude and from meme to meme he 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 has different characteristics. Sometimes he's depressed, sometimes he's just somber, sometimes he's just a normal dude who just wears a beanie and yeah, he's the it's the rage guy from uh <laughs> from 4chan 2007. 13 years ago has been coming back to haunt us yeah and uh and uh, it's he just has a uh, worse be, outlook on life it's now. gonna be painful <laughs> yeah. to say but it was funnier on nine gag Ooh, like uh, hot take that's fair enough i mean when yeah. it's when it's fresh it's definitely like funnier with like with any joke it's funnier the first time you hear it I mean, we all thought Rage Comics were funny the first time we saw them, uh, most I, of us. I can't remember, but I'm sure I found it fucking hilarious. <clears throat> I mean, for me, the best about Rage Comics is not that they were funny, it's that they were relatable. There were a lot of relatable ones, especially uh, in 2008 on 4chan. There was this big wave of relatable Rage Comics. Like, for example, there was this dude who goes inside his shower and he starts showering and the the shower curtain starts sticking to his skin. And I remember like, <laughs> that exact one. And that's something that uh, happened to me, to you, to a lot of people. And so I like that. I like the fact that it was uh, relatable. It didn't really exist before on the internet, this relatable humor based on stuff that happened to all of us on a daily basis, or maybe not daily, but often in our lives. And this was this was really fresh, the relatableness. That's uh, why I, I like um, so much the, the Rage comics, because at first they were like this, and then... By the end of 2008, they had completely reversed and and uh, on their uh, on their head. Uh, for example, there were one of the most famous ones that turned a lot on 4chan. Uh, in uh, not sure if it was late 2008. It might have been in early 2009, but it, it was the guy like. Uh, uh, when you're in a, in the shower and you feel like you have to poop, and so he poops in his hand and he throws it <laughs> throws it across the room and it lands in, inside the toilet. And it was like everything was better than expected. Yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> like a boss. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like a boss. Uh, oh yeah, like a boss was 2009 as well. So it's it, yeah, it's exactly that time that period cool guys don't look at explosions and uh jeez in my pants and all Holy this I don't know, man. that's a problem yeah. yeah 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 but these uh doomer these new ones are basically they're relatable but it's more like if you're what? an incel basically it's they like do you think they're actually relatable to some people because that's fucking sad man. this is yeah this because is really the funniest one i've found 
<laughs> yeah, I love this one so much. <laughs> With the dog that said cement. I said, what? That's concrete, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and it, there's often I see memes about people like smoking cement and getting addicted to cement. I don't know who makes those, but it's fucking genius. And it gets me every time. Just the, the that's concrete, baby. <laughs> yes. I don't know why it's so funny, but it is. <laughs> The concrete deal understand. comes through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you, yeah, you were like, making, it's, you're it's making like the drain concrete gang. slabs into a meme at one point. Concrete slab yes. just by itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. That was also pretty great, yes. Or, what was I saying about... Yeah, Doomer guy, I don't know. It's just, he goes up you to said Doomer he was girl, relatable rejects him. And I, yeah. You said relatable he was relatable for some people. I, do you really think he is? Some people, yes, but it shouldn't be coming across like that. It's mm. kind of sad. It's, yeah. That's yeah, why I, I feel it's taken off a little too far, taking the black pill. Lots of people hopeless, I guess. Yeah, so it, it, it was always my understanding that black pill was like a political stance about people who believe that uh, civilization is going down the toilet and that there's nothing to do about it. It started with the red pill, with people who believe that civilization is going down the to toilet and we should act fast and hard. And a black pill was like an extension of that, of people who also believe that things are going worse and worse. It, it's mind-blowing to me that people cling onto this belief that the world is is getting worse, where everything around us is getting better all the time and has been keep keeping going better and better since the Middle Ages. The, everything is great. Literacy rate is better. Infant mortality is better. <laughs> Health is incredibly better. Hygiene... More babies. Uh, <laughs> I mean, etc., etc. Everything is going so much better than last year, and last year, and the year before that. Uh, it's uh, it is crazy to me that people could be thinking that uh, the world is going the wrong way. It is in insane. It's like these people are just trying to have a negative outlook f just for the hell of it just because they can't they get like a girlfriend <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> really that's what it is that's why Doom I mean, is so popular I mean that's some Elliot Rogers shit now yeah that's supreme gentleman apparently mentality. yeah yeah but that's also the case for so many people like all those neo hippies that I see everywhere uh, who like uh, are against GMOs and want to eat organic and are like the anti-vaxxers are basically the same people and uh, the, the the vegans and uh, etc etc all the environmentalists who be believe that uh, nuclear power is going to kill us all I mean uh, there's so many people right now who are laboring and un under the delusion that the world is somehow getting worse where it's objectively better than it ever was before it is incredible the progress that we have made and that we continue to make year after year uh i just i don't understand this mentality of uh, because one specific thing that they cling on for some reason uh for some reason is is maybe going a little worse uh, they believe that everything is crumbling down and that the civilization is gonna end. Like it's, it's the death of our planet. We're killing our planet, or it's the death of the West, uh, or or whatever. It's crazy. Mm. It's so wrong. Yeah, most of the uh, time so people wrong. are uh, like radical about something. I'm usually just looking at it, going, <clears throat> wanting to just calm them down, tell them to chill out. Uh, all that's happy. all the bad. What? No, you, Sorry, you go. go. Uh, oh, I was I'm, gonna I'm, say, I'm... even like global warming, that's not gonna kill us in our generation. Like our grandkids are gonna worry about that. But living in the now, everything's gonna be all right. Yeah, true. Sure. I mean, yeah, I don't make as much money as I'd like to, and I feel like 
politically things need to change for that to improve. But I don't know. Are you sure happy right fault. now in your life? Um like I can definitely make do with what I've got, I reckon. Mm. I think people do identify with like some sort of catastrophe going on to like motivate themselves. <clears throat> or a larger global conspiracy. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the same. That's the same mentality. Just to make their lives seem more interesting or more like a movie. Yeah. I I think that on the contrary, um or I mean maybe it's not the contrary, but I think a lot of people like to believe in that shit because it makes them feel helpless. Uh, because it's like whatever they do, it's not gonna matter. That's why they believe in conspiracies, where whether it's like the Jews or lizards or the Illuminati or this uh, yeah. pedophile vampires from space. Uh, and hey, that one's real. The... <laughs> Epstein. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I think a lot of. I think many, many folks like to believe that things are going bad and that it's because of the powerful elite or whatever, because it makes those people not responsible for anything that happens. Whereas, obviously, we all have a responsibility, a, a share of responsibility of on what's going on in the world based on what we buy, what we say, how we connect to each other. We all have um, a, a part to play in that giant jigsaw puzzle that is <clears throat> society. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, which we unfortunately live in. Damn, it really no, is a society, society in here. But <laughs> it smells like society in here, uh, and I I'm not sure, but it really s makes me think that these people like to believe that because if they believe that, then they have nothing to do to make things better. Uh, whereas I really believe in uh, the great philosopher uh, Michael Jackson when what he said in his uh, song the man in the mirror <laughs> um, you know yeah if you if you want to make things better then uh if you want to make the world a better place take a look at yourself and make a change oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's that is that's my approach i like it nice i'm, I'm working on myself i'm pretty happy but, uh, Basically. like, oh, that's good. it'll never end, that process, I reckon. I mean, that's the, that's the point. Uh, it's when we say, uh, shoot for the moon, because you're gonna miss, but you're gonna end up amongst the stars. Sounds retarded, but it's really true. It's yeah, what I, I said. It. It's what it's what I said in my song, uh, Praise the Sun. Uh, <laughs> when I say that, uh, you're gonna, you're never going to reach perfection. But when you aim for perfection, then you are likely to end up as close as possible, and that's enough. Yeah. Striving, striving for it is enough. It's not. It's like all these Rasta man. It's like it's, it's not. It's the trip, man. Not the destination. <laughs> and I I tried to do a Jamaican accent and I did an Australian one by accident. <laughs> the destination, but, man. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> I don't know what uh, Dan's opinion on this, but I sure would like to hear it. Um, quiet. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I was going to say, <laughs> the moral of the story is don't be the doomer in these comics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. You don't want to be yes. that guy. Yes. I I'm hoping someone, yeah, people are learning just from seeing themselves reflected, like how sort of pathetic it is, I guess, to like, um, like with that black pilled version of the Duma guy, like they look at it, he's like already, he's already like ready to, to take the black pill before he even talks to the fucking girl. 
I think a lot of dudes are in that state where they're just like they already hate women, so like they 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 get this little whiff of like them not being not not being likable, and then they'll just like blame the woman. And I think like I'm not, yeah, I'm definitely not going to fix incels right now, but base uh, their entire uh, personality around. Yeah, uh, they identify with them being like hard done by by this like by these people so like they're 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 setting themselves up for failure just by having that that perspective um yeah i'm hoping that just like some of the memes show that to them i think people need to keep on memeing incels to the point that they feel stupid for even being incels it reminds me of um it's a little fuzzy in my memory, but it was a meme from I think 2016, maybe 2017, but I'm, I don't, I doubt it. Uh, about a guy who did everything wrong and he was an asshole. As like, don't Bob. Uh, Bob goes inside the toilet and he uses all the roll to to wipe his ass, and then there's <laughs> there's no no toilet paper left. Uh, don't don't be like Bob. That's like yeah. <laughs> Bob Bob sees a meme that he doesn't like on Facebook. He reports it to the moderators. Don't be like, don't be like. Oh, I I remember what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. It was not Bob. It was not John. But it was a. a it was man. everybody. Uh, what? I, I there was like a, a bot that was like generating names based on what your name is on Facebook. It's oh really? Generating memes. I remember that. I I have no idea what you're talking about. It's probably long gone. I barely even remember it. I you just brought it up, but yeah, I'm not gonna be able to find it. <laughs> like shit oh, post bot was. It was like shit post bot, but for that and going off of your name. Ah. Uh. Maybe it was the other way around. Maybe it was uh, uh, something like like uh, uh, Bob sees a meme. Um, oh, he I remember could that. that, that... It, I think that was even in a. Like... An Australian, um, it was an Australian like transit. Uh, oh, was, oh yes, like Queensland Tr rail yes. rail train, authority or something. Train etiquette, right? Uh, let me. Wasn't let me... that train etiquette thing? Queensland. And then there was this. Um, there was this uh, Indian meme that was inspired of it. Like was be like bro. Re remember this? No. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, I found it. I found it's Bill. I'm I'm downloading. Oh, does he have a hat? No. Uh, shit. It's even on. It has a Wikipedia article. There's a fucking Wikipedia article. Oh yeah 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 yeah. I was thinking of something a little bit different, but yeah yeah yeah. yeah. I remember him having a hat. This is Bill. Oh yeah, Bill yeah, finds he did have a hat. Wikipedia. Yeah, Bill thinks it's here. No, he was like this really simple stick figure that everyone could um, identify with. In Wikipedia, he says that he may be wearing a knitted hat. There's an example. The meme has been described as a way for people to passive-aggressively call out social media behaviors that annoyed them. The meme also attracted a large number of detractors who criticized the meme's tone and lack of self-awareness. These were probably the people that this meme <laughs> made fun of. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was, uh, it was a good meme. And uh, maybe we should be, we should do a, a meme like this, but with a guy who's like uh, <laughs> oh, uh, Chad. This is Chad. Chad sees a girl that he a girl that he likes. He's gonna ask her out because uh, you can't win if you don't try. Uh, be like Chad. That that could be something. A little yeah. pick me up for some people. Yeah, I mean it's like. Fight back against the Doomer hordes. <laughs> 2020, we straight doing anti-Doomer memes. Yeah. We're finding meaning in 2020. 
Yeah, maybe not that far. Maybe that's a little. <laughs> I reckon nihilism is getting getting, getting somewhat yeah. tired. It's only funny for so long. Yeah. 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 Like Rick and Morty. Right. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the reason Rick and Morty is not funny anymore is because they uh, run well, out of inspiration. I believe it's. I sort of like where it's at uh, I don't know I mean that's what I believed also and then I rewatched season 1 and the comparison is like it's season 1 is so incredibly funnier uh, than yeah, right. season 3 it's not even it's not even in the same ballpark season 1 is great season 2 is also pretty damn good season 3 uh, it's not bad it's like it's okay it's decent uh, but yeah, no, it's, it's a clear downward trend, uh, and they 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 run out of fuel so fast. But season one is still awesome. Hmm. I especially am a fan of that episode when where they watch TV from uh, all the dimensions. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you see the subreddit that was created in uh, in reference to that? It's so great. Oh, I haven't. Basically, there was this dude. Uh, who saw this episode of the what's his name the the multi dimension channel? Um, I forgot the name, but I, I, we could find it. Um, and basically, uh, he looked on on YouTube for weird videos that kind of look like TV programs that made him think about uh, the stuff that you see uh, on this. Uh, on this episode, like the real fake doors of the uh, fight, two brothers in a van, uh, all these great things. Hi, uh, I'm a guy with ants in my eyes, and I sell. <laughs> so just a bunch of really weird and vague YouTube videos and compiling yes. them. Yes, and so basically he posted them. Uh, not just he put he he made a. a Kind of a website, kind of like a flash site where you you see the the frame of the site is like Rick and Morty, uh, and uh, they have the the remote, and then uh, the 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 videos like go on and on, uh, and when you when you push a, a like I don't know space on your keyboard, it goes to the next video like if they were like uh, hitting a button on the remote, and uh, and then and then there was a subreddit that was created f for it. And um, yeah, when someone, a lot of people like uh, put videos on that subreddit that they feel match the tone and the feel of of the program, and so the there's a bot that's looking at what's going on, and when the, um, when the submissions get a, a certain number of upvotes and not too many downvotes, they get automatically added to the site. And uh, it's it's a great uh, concept, in my opinion. Huh. I'm really gonna I have used, to check that I out. used I used to watch that for hours, like literally, it was better than TV. And um, I I I I have to uh, look it up for the people who are listening. Uh, I, really I am check going it out. to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not not just for because I could just put the link in the chat, but I'm gonna like say the name out loud for the people who are <laughs> listening. Um, uh, Reddit, where is Reddit? There's a Reddit. lot of good meme potential for that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but <sighs> video memes recently. Uh, oh, you, you were talking about the Rick and Morty thing, or, or about uh, the the pee pee pooper uh, in the chat? <laughs> you were talking about the picture in in the chat, or the Rick and Morty thing I was talking about? Oh, the uh, the Rick and Morty. Thing. Yeah, the thing about video memes is that nowadays, in in that era of everything being really fast, and uh, you know, uh, you you scrolling on Instagram, you see ten memes in a minute. It's it video memes are uh, I, um hmm. you gotta do it right. They it's not that they you gotta do it right. It they they have to be short and and to the point right away. And that's kind of the the, the opposite. It's a lot of 
long videos that are just kind of weird uh, kind of like in the adult swim vibe oh of yeah, yeah yeah but uh, well rick and morty is an adult swim show after all <laughs> uh, but but yeah it was it's exactly the kind of videos like the non-edited footage of a bear or the too many oh books. yeah 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 so uh, they changed the Reddit layout, and I am so lost. Oh, I can't help you. I rarely use Reddit. Um, my profile is it Reddit Premium. Visit old Reddit. Great. <laughs> they realize there's there's site. Oh, now I see uh, something that I understand. The new. Reddit is so bad. Uh, it's Reddit has always been hard to navigate. Like when you want to do a search, when you want to look for something, it's it's uh, it's tedious. And of course, they did a big redesign lately, and it's so worse. It's uh, it's geared for the advertisers. They. Um, they started oh. to realize that they needed money because the, the site was like bleeding money and they could not sustain it anymore. So they're trying to rack in a lot of adver advertisers, but the old uh, website was, was not good enough, uh, I suppose. So they did a big redesign that is geared towards showing you as many ads as possible. And um, yeah, it is a nightmare. Um, especially on desktop. Like, it's, I was just trying to find things and I find nothing. Um, so, uh, if you guys could, like, um, make the conversation interesting while I'm looking for the name of the subreddit, that would be nice. Well, you're going back, uh, talking about short videos, but have you heard of the page Tom? No. No? It's literally just called Tom, and it's all short videos. Like, um, videos that are friendly towards the algorithm that tons of people see. They're short enough that people can just watch them. Page gets good reach. And it's all funny stuff, too. It's like, ironic stuff. I mean, it's not exactly that they have to be short. It's that they have to be... Um, enticing right away, right from the bat. They get to catch your eye immediately. Uh, Facebook has been really pushing um, in the past few years their video platform and they only push videos that are more than three minutes long. Um, so three minutes is kind of like a lot uh, for memes and stuff like that. But yeah, that's why you see so many of these compilation videos, like compilation of life hacks, compilation of recipes. Oh, like make. dank meme and compilation, this and that. Yes, that is why you see so many of them, is that Facebook only gives you ad revenue and push your stuff if your videos are more than three minutes long. So that's why these compilations are everywhere now. And um, and yeah, the point is not that the video has to be short, but it has to catch your attention in a few seconds. So it has to be really fast, really catchy for the eye with bright colors, stuff that's going on. Captions and, help. And our captions are really important because a lot of people who are browsing Facebook are browsing without sound. Like if they're browsing, for example, in the subway or at work or uh, in bed and their some significant other is sleeping. God knows that happened to me a <laughs> bunch of times because I had uh, uh, insomnia for many, many years. So uh, browsing the Internet in bed while my uh, girlfriend is sleeping right next is something that has happened to me a lot. So I had um, uh, I quickly got the, uh, the habit of uh, cutting the sound of everything. So <laughs> captions are kind of a lifesaver so for a lot of situations. What the fuck is Rim Job Steve? We were uh, oh, talking yeah. about videos. 
<laughs> no, I was, yeah, rim uh, job there's Steve. a lot. No, yeah, 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 I remember. Rim job Steve is a subreddit for people who give good advice but have terrible nicknames. <laughs> um, so it's for people who do good posts but with a terrible uh, nickname because uh, there's a lot of subreddits who, 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 the, their name of a lot of subreddits are jokes that you have kind of you have to be on in the joke or in on the joke mm. uh, to understand what's going on You're, that's one, another reason why reddit can be so hard to navigate like for example there's a, a great subreddit called where did the soda go and, oh yeah uh, i you don't i was if yeah 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 go ahead um i i didn't even get the like context for that uh subreddit but yeah i was i used to i used to use reddit and that was one of the ones i was subscribed to or whatever you do on reddit yeah and, like yeah, so like I mean, gifs uh... gifs of like weird commercials and stuff yes Yes, infomercials that have uh, terrible acting and stuff like this. There's another great one that is called uh, Disney Vacation. Uh, if you don't know what Disney Vacation is, it's for uh, really weird pictures found on WikiHow. Oh. Uh, oh I've yeah, seen yeah, some yeah, of those yeah. pictures. I've I know, seen some like, of those. cataloging them. Huh? You you talked at the same time. I, I I didn't catch what was going on. Oh, I've known about the weird wiki out pictures. I didn't know there was like a whole thing for it. Yeah, yeah. There's uh there's actually two subreddits. Um, it's the the one called Disney Vacation is for people who take um weird pictures from wiki how and add um a funny caption that has nothing to do with the article. And there's also not Disney Vacation, uh, which is uh, uh, pictures from WikiHow that come with the WikiHow caption that does not make things less weird at all. Why is it? Why is it called Disney Vacation? Yeah, like what, what's the Disney? Uh, yeah, part? there's. Uh, I mean, usually subreddit like this start when someone made a comment in a, another thread in a big subreddit like oh yeah there should be a yeah 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 i i i just saw this uh, wiki how article about how to plan your disney vacation it was so weird and pictures <laughs> oh, were uh, oh yeah we and and some someone say oh yeah we should uh, do we should make a, sub, a subreddit about this weird wiki how pictures that would be and, lit uh, epic let's Let's name it Disney Vacation. So it's a callback to this epic conversation that we're. Uh, <laughs> so a lot of times it's like this. It's an <sighs> inside joke that we're not in on. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, back to the, the Tom thing I was talking to you about. For some reason, they they post so much. It's all like short videos, but they get a ton of reach. So maybe it's just a matter of them cheating the algorithm somehow. I don't think you can really cheat the algorithm because no one really understands how the algorithm works. And uh, I actually talked with some people who worked at Facebook, like legit Facebook really? employees that I met in a party or whatever. And um, even them did not really understand what was going on with the algorithm. Oh. It's a mystery. So, so, to be fair, there were people, there were not engineers, there were people from the marketing and communication department. Uh, but still, oh. they seemed to be, like, not really understanding what the hell was going on. And, uh... All I know is the, uh, the 10k curse, but I'm not... I don't really know how to cheat the algorithm. Nobody does. Yeah, I've heard a lot about the 10k curse. For the people who are listening who have no idea what we're talking about, the 10k curse is like when a Facebook page reaches 10,000 likes, it has been prophesied that uh, its reach is dramatically falling down. And I've heard of it many, many times. And I myself have 
about 20 pages now that I run, and a lot of them have more than 10k likes, and I have never seen the 10k curse with my own eyes. It has never happened to me. I don't understand uh, if it's real or if it's just a myth, but I know I know quite a lot of admins that have told me that it happened to them, so it's... Uh... And nobody knows. Nobody knows why. It's weird. It's gotta be a thing for like newer pages or something. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I don't think so. After um, they added in the whole two-factor authentication for big pages, it was a pain in the ass. Really? That, that took like 30 seconds to complete? I mean, it's just... It's easy to do, but it's just like, I shouldn't have to be doing this. Maybe. I don't know. I didn't think about it that much. It's just for big pages. Pages with high potential reach. You have to do it. Yeah, I know. It's just... Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but you have, to, you have to do only only you have to do it only once, and it works for all your pages. Like it legit took me thirty seconds to do it. Like I I did not really understand the the issue. It was. It's just yeah. like if you have alt accounts. Really. What? If you have alt accounts. Yeah. That that's where the issue comes in, but. Yeah, uh, oh, not not really, because uh, you just have to give um, a phone number, <laughs> and it, it's, it's fine. You can, you can give the, the phone number of your mom or a friend. I know people who give the phone number of a family member who did not really use Facebook or one of their friends or whatever, and it, it works. It doesn't, it's, uh, yeah, 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 it, it, it works for your alts as well. They don't really look deep into the stuff. Uh, when I say 30 seconds, it's really 30 seconds. It's uh, it's really, you can give whomever phone number you want. It's 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 fine. Oh, I never really thought of that. I didn't, like, know how much they checked into that. Well, the answer is not at all. <laughs> oh, thanks for telling me. Yeah, yeah, it has to be a phone number that works, of course, because they send you an SMS. Mm -hmm. You have to give the code. But yeah, it could be your, your grandma's phone. If you just get the SMS and the code, then it's done. And they never contact you about it again. So it's really... Not a lot of... Um... I found it! Interdimensional <laughs> cable! Yeah. Yes! That sounds right. It, it has grown a lot, because last time I was on there, there was like... 15,000 people. And now it's a hundred thousand uh, subscribers on the interdimensional cable sub Reddit, and uh, I know what I'm going to do with uh, I know what I'm going to do for the upcoming uh, five or six weeks. I'm gonna look at all these videos. Damn! What I said, hundred k six days ago. Oh, I yeah. see what kind of videos these are now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, th there's a lot of these videos that I put in my um, in my playlists that I look at all the time. Uh, a lot of a lot of them are so great, so good. Um, I think the top video is that dude who makes like um, this this terrible uh, wildcat thing. You know the the cooking. Uh, I it was on H three H three. Oh fuck, H three H three Productions a few years ago. Uh, I don't know if you've seen it, but it's this guy who makes very depressing meals for it's meals for one that you can do with a microwave, and it's that this old dude that is like so depressed. No, that's not him. I was confused uh, by the. Um, I was confused by the fucking um, thumbnail. Uh, the but guy yeah, with the pizza? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw it. I, I thought when I see when I saw the miniature thumbnail that it was uh, the dude who makes this uh, like microwave pasta with nacho cheese or whatever, and it, it was so great. You have not seen it? Oh, it was uh, it was something. 
Like, this guy looks, like, so depressed. And he's like, hey, hell, Wildcats. Today we're going to make uh, pasta for, for one in a, in a microwave. And it's like, uh, it's this guy is... Just be in suits. <laughs> is, yeah, I mean, he's like... One, one crazy moment is like he takes a bowl he fills it with water and he puts it in the microwave and it's like now 10 minutes full power until that water is like really boiling hot and then he just opens the microwave and takes the bowl with his bare hands oh. and it's like and it's like it, he like he has to walk several steps to the other side of the kitchen and he sets it on a table on a, a table or a you know a working top without blinking or whatever he, it's like he does not feel that ball that must be like it's just burning up inside blister. yeah and he doesn't even flinch it's crazy and he puts the, the the pasta in the in the in the bowl and he puts some kind of like tomato sauce in a jar. Just hide and the it, pain. <laughs> yes, very, very much like this, yes. Giants, are you back or are you Giants? <laughs> I came back and heard tomato sauce in a jar. <laughs> yeah, we we're talking about this dude. I don't know if you watched H three H three productions. Yeah. Yeah. But a few a few years ago, they made a video on this guy from American TV uh, who made these very, very depressing meals for one with a microwave. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that was something. Yeah. I mean, like, there's, there's definitely more in that. I reckon someone needs to have a cooking show that's all just about me garang or, like, cooking with just absolutely no money at all oh man on the uh, interdimensional cable there's a click hole post about the <laughs> this man was 500 pounds now he's two guys who's both 250 oh, yeah. pounds oh click i did not know i discovered it quite recently it was like in late 2018 but click hole makes great videos click hole is so <laughs> base i like <sighs> One of my favorites is, have you seen the the portal just chunking, like, meat out of it? <laughs> no. It's like this... Oh, yes! Shit! Yes, I remember! Oh, yeah. The couple's my like, favorite... Looking. My absolutely favorite one was uh, when they analyze everything that the f movie Jurassic Park got wrong about Newman. Newman? Yeah, because you know the one of the actors who, who was in Jurassic Park who oh, was yeah, yeah, Newman yeah. from Seinfeld. <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh it, yeah, you you gotta see it. You gotta see it. It's like, like look up click hole Jurassic Park Newman. You're gonna find it, I suppose. I think it was click hole. I'm, I'm I'm having a maybe it was the Onion. No, it was it was definitely click hole. Click Hole, wasn't that the spin-off of The Onion uh, uh, originally? It, the and Onion owns it, I think. Yeah, and now they have completely overshadowed it. Whereas, like, The Onion is parroting, like, news sites. Um, Click Hole is basically BuzzFeed, I guess. Yeah, but since now, BuzzFeed is basically news. Click Hole is much bigger than The Onion. One eye links. Oh my god. Have you seen the Guzmer? Americans and Guzmer try British candy for the first time. <laughs> nope. Oh, it's like me and my friends, like, absolute favorite quick, uh, quick hole video. Yeah, so if you, if you, if you type um, click hole new man into Google, uh, you find it immediately. Um, uh, the, 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 title is fact check paleontologists break down all the ways jurassic park gets new man no. wrong well these paleontologists did not hold back <laughs> <laughs> uh boys i just want to put a word in that uh last time we, re we recorded for an hour and a half 
and now we have been recording for an hour and 15 minutes yeah. and we kind of have a policy of no episodes longer than three hours because it's already huge so we don't have a lot of time left that's fine do you want to wrap it up yeah. uh, i mean we don't have to wrap it up right now but if like if we could like wrap up loosely in 10-15 yeah. minutes it would be it would be good okay. yeah i i don't i these episodes could be so long like i i started really early with the no more than three hours policy and uh and all the time i said that uh, uh, yeah we've been recording for two hours and a half it's been um it will be be a time to start wrapping things up, and people are like already. Like, it's, it's time flies, but like when you're listening to a podcast, do you listen to a lot of podcasts that have episodes that are longer than three hours? It's just, uh, it's, it's like an audio book at this point. I don't know how you're editing. I don't know if you're doing one long video or just two videos or. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean it's mostly audio because um, I upload the podcast to all the sites that host podcasts: Spotify, Apple Podcasts. It'll, it'll be podcasts, just one cetera, long episode, I think, with the and two. Basic, yes, that's yeah. what we always do. It's always one long episode. Yes. All right. So uh, there's a video format for YouTube and Facebook, but for most other places, it's just audio. This is like so literally the second the... time I've been on a podcast, so <laughs> I don't know much about it. Yeah, yeah, well, I've been hosting one, this one, for two years, and I still don't know much about it either. Mm. So, uh, so yeah, but I've been, well... Are you learn as you go, uh, right? Yeah. What? You learn yeah, as oh, you yeah, go, sure. and you have yeah, a fun yeah, yeah, time yeah, yeah, doing yeah. it. Yeah, exactly. That's that's true. That's true. Um, I uh, actually, for the past two years, I've been on um, a lot of antidepressants medicine, um, and one of the classic side effects that a lot of antidepressants do to you is that your vision gets blurry. Um, at random times and often when you fix your eyes on something for a long time your vision will get like really blurry like if you're trying to read or watch TV or things like this uh, your eyes will get like really tired and you will lose the ability to focus your vision for a few minutes or maybe a few hours that because of th that kind of sucks but because of that during the past year and a half I have been listening to a lot of podcasts and that has really refueled uh my, my my passion for the talk show form but it is true that i have tried many many different podcasts some science some humor some just talk show interview stuff and already two hours is like rare so three is uh at the beginning i was recording with um like one of these uh portable recorders i didn't have a mic when i started so i had these uh little field recording th things uh it's um zoom does a yeah. lot of them uh, mine was like the tascam dr05 for the nice. curious folks Tascam DR05 is actually great bang for the buck costs only a hundred and it's so good at field recordings if you want to record a concert or live drums or birds in a forest it is incredibly good for the price but um, I with my um, uh, fucking uh, SD card that was inside I could only record three hours at a time so uh, if things had been different who knows the fucking length of the episodes <laughs> what mm. it would be but, but yeah that's that's a lot that's a lot three hours what I say usually <laughs> is that you don't uh, uh, 
people sometimes people like I cannot li listen to a three hour episode. It's like listening, it's you're not supposed to listen to the whole thing at once. You know, <laughs> it's like when you're in your car. Listen. That's why uh, we try not to have too many discussions that take uh, like a, a long time, and <laughs> we hop from subject to subject to subject. So if you, you know, you don't have to remember what we said in the beginning to uh, find the the, the end uh, entertaining. Uh, I hope. <laughs> I mean, the first episode, the first part was a month ago, so. Yeah. I don't remember everything we talked about. I remember almost nothing. And, uh, yeah. But, uh, you were worried that your uh, audio was, like, um, bad quality, and I was listening to it, uh, earlier today to try to <sighs> jog my memory back about <clears throat> what we did talk about. And it was actually not that bad. It was, it was, uh, it's totally listenable. Okay. It's, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's surprisingly decent. There's some moments where it sounds like you're in some kind of wind storm. Kind of like today. Yeah. But most of the time it sounds fine. Yeah. You have a mic stand, right? Like a dedicated Oh, mic yeah. Stand. Yeah, oh, yeah, so that's a really good investment. You're more especially. professional than I am, so I don't have one. I'm literally holding it in my hand right now. Yeah, it's. Uh, I I think if you're doing this um, often, a mic stand is a really good investment because it's a huge difference in your audio quality and especially reduction of background noise, which is almost always the biggest problem when we do this this uh, podcast thing it's not that the people don't sound good it's that the background noise uh, tend, tends to be too loud and sometimes overwhelming yeah, the, but, the uh, cars cars come past my house and for some reason this is like a drift spot people like to burn out <laughs> and like just honk their horns and shit I'm not sure why yeah, right most now. of the time when I s yeah most of the time when we see, uh, when we hear noise coming from your uh, mic, it's more like these exotic birds. Yeah. Uh, it's, well, I like the birds. Uh, the birds are cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. In the beginning, I, I was convinced that it was like some kind of um, boomer phone ring. <laughs> you know, like the, the old people have always this... Uh, All the time. Yeah. 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 Just the generic shitty ringtones. Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, the thing about a mic stand is that also it's just really cheap. Like I think the one I have cost me like ten euros, and it's really good. So uh, so yeah, these they they cost nothing, and they do a lot of difference. But of course, if you're just like here once, it's not. But for me, who like uh, records these podcasts several times a month and then and cocaine, a lot of... cocaine and minecraft yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's what i was gonna say yeah yeah cocaine and minecraft and uh, all that shit um uh, for people who don't know <laughs> what we're talking about it's just like yeah i, I do a, a a bit of singing and so the mic works as well for the podcast and for the the singing stuff um my latest single it's called Cocaine and Minecraft. So it's pretty good. Look it up on, on YouTube or uh, or Facebook. Uh, it is uh, a bop, as the kids say lately. Yeah. Um, We're in an hour 23. I don't know if this is too long. I'm, just, I'm a little let's, worried. Let's say... Well, What's a good last topic? It should probably be meme-related. Yeah, exactly. That's was what I was... That just is, talked about... I was, the... racking, I was racking my brain trying to find exactly this, a good meme-related topic to wrap things up. What about uh, the future, 2020? Mm. Oh, yeah. We just ended a decade, and a new one is starting. What do you think will be the new trends? What do you hope will be the new... Me hot memes and what uh, do you fear about the future of memes in the decade that just started what I fear 
memes are going to be even more commercialized than they already are. Mm. Like, the Wendy's commercial with the memer was just the beginning. And we're going to see them more and more in commercials, and it's just... That meme's just going to die as soon as you see it in any kind of ad. I mean... That commercial with the memer was a long time ago, and I feel that with all the quality memeing that they have been doing recently, especially on Twitter, Wendy's have redeemed themselves. <laughs> they have... Yeah, I really stop, believe that. Stop, fucking they're... stop. <laughs> what? The, the, uh, the reaction video. I yeah, remember that. yeah. The, the dude screaming when he sees the, uh, yeah, the memeing, the meme of Wendy's ad. Oh, yeah. The, I think the yeah, scariest yeah. part is that people don't realize that they're just participating in a commercial when they're, um, when they're sharing certain memes. Yes. Um, uh, yes, I see, yeah. Uh, like, I've seen a few people who just think it's so funny when the, the Twitter pages, like, it'll be a bunch of brands talking to each other as if they're, like, teenage girls or whatever, and they'll, yeah. they'll be laughing hysterically and sharing the images, and I'm like, you, you just, you're just participating in advertising. Absolutely. Mm. That is true. These Twitter pages getting all sassy with each other. It's yeah. just basically saying... Without saying, "Hey, buy our product." Pretty Come much, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's funny, so mm. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not gonna <laughs> retweet any of that. But <laughs> you're sounding like a bunch of commies. Like, <laughs> 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 I, 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 I don't see the problem. Um, I mean, it's, they are not disguising who they are. It's obvious that they are brands and corporations. I mean, they have the name, they have the check mark, they have, they're not pretending not to be corporations. So it's kind of obvious that everything that they do is communication and marketing and advertisement. It's not like if there were like random accounts on Twitter uh, with doing that stuff. That would be deceiving and, and, and bad. But since it's the official accounts who do that, uh, it's not exactly disguised. We know where it comes from. So... Uh, yeah. Just makes me think. Hmm. Oh. And that's well, bad. Well, so, oh, so you want to stop, stop that kid? Let, let's let's thinking say thinking just gets you a whole lot of problems. <laughs> uh, Beppis, like um, memes that were like using products that are actually probably like organically created have have a different feel to um, I don't know, like the Gucci starter pack or something like yes. that. Where they're, they're just showing their products off and people are like, this is so funny because it's a product in a meme. Oh. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I feel like it's dead con. It's like soulless content. I'll just have to wait and see this decade. See where yeah. that goes. I think South Park yeah. summarized it pretty well, like with that whole subplot with people becoming ads. Or whatever the um, it was a couple of years ago now. It's like a season devoted to like trying to figure out which people were real and which people were just ads. <laughs> That's great. I yeah, no, it's that really one. excellent. I haven't watched South Park in so many years. I think I stopped. I think I stopped watching like in two thousand and nine. Uh, so I, think I stopped watching a little later than that, but. But yeah, I heard the the recent episodes were good, uh, which doesn't surprise me. It kind of does, because the, the longevity 
is mm. is a little surprising. It stays. I mean, because it's riffing on news, it stays kind of fresh. <laughs> but also, when you look at the old episodes, they're really dated. So you have to kind of watch them when the things are unfolding. They have. They don't have a long uh, shelf life. But, yeah, uh, they make the episodes really fast. So yeah, or stuff, yeah, current yeah. events. They're kind of. There are kind of memes. The South Park episodes are all memes when you think about it. <laughs> That's what they are. And uh, also, it reminds me of Demolition Man. I don't know if you've seen Demolition Man with um, uh, Sylvester Stallone, but um, uh, not. it's it's in the future, and his Sylvester Stallone is is not. From this era, he has been propulsed into the future by some technology, or I don't remember exactly. But um, yeah, it's it's in the future, and the music has been banned. Uh, music is illegal now, so uh, instead, people listen to ads. Rest in peace. Man is an un- de- what cocaine and Minecraft? No, I was gonna say rest in peace, that guy <laughs> from the future. No the music. I already forgot oh. what he's called. He's banned. Sylvester Stallone. Uh, he's an actor. Uh, no, no. The uh, from the last episode, the music from the future. You're talking about. Ah, uh, Mahmoud. Ah, oh, Mahmoud Awad. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. So he can't yes. make his music in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's an underrated movie. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty good. Different timeline. Uh, Alternate universe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The uh, interdimensional. He probably uh, radio. saved. He saved the universe in his timeline. Wasn't that the movie where they had the the three shells? Uh, I don't know. Because uh, there's 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 this uh, this meme. Uh, on 4chan that comes from a movie and I'm pretty sure it's Demolition Man I, I think it's in this movie that they don't use toilet paper anymore they just have three seashells <laughs> <Ew. laughs> and it's like uh, it's like what, what do I do with the shells and everyone's like oh he doesn't do he doesn't know how to use the seashells it's so weird what the fuck is wrong with this dude and so it's never explained in the movie what the shells do, but it's like this, like this, uh, this joke. It's like uh, I don't understand. There's no toilet paper. There's, there's just three seashells. It's like <laughs> what is toilet paper, and how do you not know how to use the shells? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's it's kind of a throwaway line, but it's uh, yeah. Oh my god, it's from this movie. It, I think scoop. it's from this movie. I looked it up, it is, and there's an entire video essay explaining the three shells. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. 1993, oh, it's more recent than I thought. I thought it was from the 80s. But yeah, it's really, really good. It's kind of based on Brave New World by Huxley, which is a great book. Uh, it's, it's like... It's like 1984, but better in every way. Uh, more comedic? No. Uh, more... I don't know. Just the three shells part? <laughs> <laughs> no, the three shells. I don't know if it's in the book. I think it's just in the movie. But... It's Aldous oh, Huxley. The, oh. the, the Brave New World, oh, I think. Is Brave it? New World. Yes. Yeah. All right, well, I reckon we've hit our one hour 30 mark. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's yeah. well over. Well, I'm going to uh, take my pills and watch some interdimensional cable videos. <laughs> oh. I might do that and... later too, yeah. Yeah. Cocaine and interdimensional so, uh... cable. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Great. I mean, I think that with interdimensional cable, you more want something a little chill, like lean or uh, weed, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or maybe some some special K, just a little bit, um, <laughs> not too much. Otherwise, <laughs> who knows how it could end? But uh, thanks, uh, 
Dan for <laughs> coming and being a great guest. We had a lot of fun and uh, it was two great conversations. Yes, it's um, been a pleasure. Thanks. It's been a shared pleasure. Thanks, of course, everyone for listening. Uh, don't forget to check the links in description. There's a lot of stuff. There's our art, our music, our Patreons, etc. And of course, the links to Dan's page or pages. I don't know how many you have. I have but, quite uh, a few, but you can just... Every, every link you want, I will post in the description box. Do not worry. There is a lot of space available. So, <laughs> uh, contrary to this uh, audio cassette proverbial uh, skeuomorphism so what is uh, a little last word that you want to say uh, is there one just uh, thanks for having me and putting up with uh, my weird mic uh, uh, situation it was a pleasure really first yeah, time really nice. doing a podcast nice. uh, if you ever want to bring me on again I'd be more than happy to in like a future yeah, episode. Yeah, if, sure. If that thought ever crosses your mind, I know you got lots of guests. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. And we are so late. Like, we have not even started editing the episode that we recorded in November. So uh, it's now the end of January. And holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I guess final word, I'll just say uh, like surface reality memes on Facebook. Hell yeah, man.